Chapter 326, Under the Plan This is the material that someone gave me this morning. Dumbledore picked up a stack of paper on the table and handed it to Ryan. Ryan took the information and turned it page by page. It was discovered that after Voldemort escaped yesterday, Harry directly released the magic spark, and soon rescuers found him through the traces on his wand. And on that island arrived the bodies of Patek Crouch and Peter. After meeting with Harry, the rescuers also listened to Harry talking about the castle and a little girl named Liana. But everyone thinks that the story that Harry told a seven or eight year old girl to run off Voldemort is just his illusion. Fortunately, Dumbledore believed Harry. And he rushed to the castle ruin to extinguish the flames first. In the follow up search, I found the book and a lot of information that Ryan left in the basement. Soon, he and several faculty members and the members of the Transylvanian Ministry of Magic who arrived at the news searched for the rescue of the prisoners. Ryan and they were found by Moody at this time. The materials seized from the castle are all in the Transylvanian Ministry of Magic. But Professor Dumbledore obtained a set of copies. There is a lot of evidence that the vampires are in the UK. I think the little girl might have become a wizard after drinking a compound soup, but we haven't figured out why the strong man chose to become a child, Dumbledore said. When Ryan looked at the document again, said next to it, maybe to make others lose vigilance. Ryan wouldn't say it because he wasn't ready to make only this vest work. At least the average person always takes the child lightly. Dumbledore nodded in agreement with this reason. Ryan quickly read the information and said to all the people in the office, I think I have a way to make everyone more vigilant. What way? Harry asked eagerly. It's very simple. Whether the three students were taken into captivity or the illegal activities of those people recorded in this material in the United Kingdom, it can be proved that the black wizards and criminal acts that have disappeared after the war in the British wizarding community have begun. A lot of breeding. In this case, as the leader of the magic world, you certainly need to call on everyone to unite to maintain the stability of the British wizarding world. Don't we need to tell the public about the person's return? Professor McGonagall questioned. No. Professor McGonagall, Ryan shook his head. After all, for the general public, the Ministry of Magic is in control of the source of information. When everyone does not want to believe that the mysterious man is back, the Ministry of Magic does not cooperate with forcibly saying that this is useless and even counterproductive. So we simply find another way, squeeze the living space of the Black Wizards from another angle. Ryan's idea is more feasible, because the news that Harry brought back yesterday said that he observed that the potion that Voldemort had resurrected might have caused his body to collapse. At this time, he should think of ways to make up for this problem. There hasn't been much time for trouble in the magic world recently, Dumbledore explained briefly. In this case, if I said recently that Voldemort was back, everyone might not see any attacks. Then I would become a liar in their mouth, but it would not help everyone to unite against Voldemort. Body collapse? Ryan and Hermione asked in unison. Dumbledore smiled and said to the two of them, Since you are already standing here, then you also have the right to know these things. Yes, Voldemort used a recast yesterday there is something wrong with the body's potion and it's thanks to Ryan the bottle of medicine you sold to Harry. What? Ryan was a little confused. Yesterday he was also an experiencer. He saw Harry and Batty wrestling there from afar. I really can't figure out what is related to my medicine. Yesterday, Batty bit my face and vomited my blood into the crucible. Harry explained that Ryan finally knew why the man raised his head inexplicably yesterday. But he bit me twice, and the first one shattered the glass bottle you gave me. So there was a part of your potion that he spit into the pot. So this time is better than I thought. Dumbledore followed Harry's words. Just Severus told us that the medicine used to reshape the body requires very high accuracy. Now because of the various it's a coincidence that this potion was mixed with too many impurities when it was put into the final material. In addition to the blood of Harry that he needs, there are a series of potions such as the dragon blood unicorn blood and sunlight, and even the blood of batty and saliva. In addition, each step of this black magic ritual requires very precise time and operation. And Voldemort's magic ritual not only delayed the last step, but even the most important crucible was attacked by magic. This combination led to Voldemort not appearing in a completely restored state after the ceremony, and even said that it was not as good as his original ghost state. At least at that time, he was able to use that state to be immune to attacks, instead of hiding now with a fragile body caused by multiple mistakes. And what Voldemort needs to do to save his collapsed body may be more troublesome than resurrection, knowing that sometimes the process of removing impurities from the whole is even more troublesome than making another one. We just happen to take this opportunity to organize the man to hunt him down, and at the same time, let everyone be vigilant. According to the advice of Ryan just now, because to remove the impurities Voldemort needs some precious potions and magic materials and these things do not uncommon. After starting everyone, we can slow down his recovery by monitoring the flow of these potions. It is worthy of being an old man who has experienced two wizarding wars, and immediately came up with the most suitable plan. And looking at Dumbledore's look, these proposals should have been drafted for a long time. Think about it too. When Ryan gave the notebook Horcrux to him in second grade, Dumbledore should have already thought that Voldemort would come back and be prepared accordingly. www.mtlnovel.com And now it is a serious one. Weakened Voldemort. 
This should be much better than Dumbled or thought at the time. No wonder Dumbled or showed a light look. Now I am glad that I just had a fight with Fudge instead of talking about it completely. Dumbled or said, so I can now ask the Ministry of Magic to help monitor the abnormal flow of various magic materials. Aren't we disclosing this? Professor McGonagall asked. It will be public, but not now. Dumbledore arrived. At least now we must hide this news like the Ministry of Magic, so as to avoid panic purchases in the market and hide what we really want to pay attention to. For these more important I am willing to make concessions to Fudge and the Ministry of Magic. So how do we tell the students? Professor McGonagall asked again. Yesterday's vigilance flooded the school with all kinds of rumors, and even foreign students knew that someone had been taken away. In this case, there must be a justifiable excuse to appease everyone. Just two prisoners who escaped from Azkaban tried to negotiate the conditions with the Ministry of Warriors by kidnapping the True Wizard Tournament. At the same time, they also contacted foreign vampires to start. But all this was stopped by a passing justice. The hostages have been rescued, and the two kidnappers committed suicide in despair. At the same time, we also openly express our gratitude to the unknown Justice Wizard. Lao Deng's level of nonsense is not bad. At least Tryon did not hear any loopholes in this passage. Finally, Dumbledore instructed Harry and their three students to unanimously refrain from telling the story of Voldemort's return and sending them away. It is estimated that he will arrange the members of the Order of the Phoenix to prepare to hunt down Voldemort with Professor McGonagall. Chapter 327 New Business It would be great if Principal Dumbledore could really get rid of Voldemort. Maybe he could harvest a large number of offset points at once. Ryan thought happily as he heard the sweet reminder in his mind. Because he changed the great event of Lord Voldemort's resurrection, this time he gained 38 offset points in one breath. Of course, this kind of good thing is something to think about. In this case, Voldemort's cunning will definitely hide himself strictly. Even if you want to do something, it is estimated that you will wait until it is completely restored. But Voldemort is still cautious enough. This time, Ryan can confirm that there is no hair on Voldemort's whole body, which means that no one can disguise himself as his with a compound soup. Therefore, Voldemort's bald head is not just to become stronger but it is also likely to prevent someone from becoming his way. Ryan feels that his biggest problem is still too much knowledge but not fully integrated. For example, he has obtained the deformability of the faceless person through the mercury lamp. However, even after many improvements, it is necessary to get a person's face to get the memory of a person. This means that this method cannot be used in a fair and honest manner. In the future, if you have the opportunity to go out with others, you will not be able to obtain intelligence even if you kill the enemy. There are many similar problems. So even Voldemort has been resurrected during this time, but still has not affected Ryan's previous plan. In his spare time, he continues to analyze and improve the data of extraordinary powers obtained from other worlds. After all, only by further integrating the mastered power can you enhance your strength in order to gain more advantages in the following battles. Fortunately, Dumbledore, who is now in a complete state, played a severely weak conversion of Voldemort without completely overthrowing the Ministry of Magic, so this time should be relatively easy, and you can spare time to do some other things. With the unspoken cooperation of Dumbledore and Fudge, the news of Voldemort's return was concealed. However, the previous kidnapping case and the dark network established by the vampires in Europe were completely exposed in the newspaper. Rita Skeeter's pen is indeed sharp enough, her cynicism and detailed account books seized from the vampire completely angered the entire wizarding world and numerous roaring letters were sent to the Ministry of Magic. It's no wonder that wizards have never regarded other intelligent creatures as being equal to themselves. In any case, they will not accept that noble wizards are actually used as food by this dirty inferior creature, especially if the target is a little wizard. Naturally, under such fierce public opinion, President Dumbledore's proposal to launch an action to completely clean up the dark side of the wizarding world naturally won the support of most wizards at this time. Over the next period of time, Obvious targets like Knockdown Alley were repeatedly searched by members of the Ministry of Magic. Even some pureblood families have to hide their black magic artifacts to avoid misfortune. But this storm did not affect Hogwarts except providing some talks for everyone. The school still did its own thing slowly according to its own arrangement. Except for one thing that caused a sensation in the school. The referee Crouch of the True Wizard Tournament was arrested in St. Munger. The fact that Crouch helped his son escape from prison is still exposed as long as he has the intention to check this kind of thing. According to the letter written by Percy, Crouch was relieved when he was arrested. This may be that after seeing the unconscious house self and the missing son after returning home that day, he always felt that he had the day. Percy finally lamented his luck in the letter, if he went to work under Crouch, then it is estimated that there is absolutely no good fruit. In addition, Percy asked his twins in a letter to the twins if they needed alchemy materials, because Percy recently checked many illegal places and seized a lot of alchemy materials that are usually difficult to buy. 
According to the rules of the Ministry of Magic, the seizure of this risky action will be divided into a part of the executors, among them, the high volume or high value nature naturally belongs to the Ministry of Magic. These low level clerks can only take some partial and single purpose things. The Ministry of Nature and Magic can convert these things into gold coins, but the price given is very ridiculous. So Percy, who has now become a small captain, came to ask the twins if these materials are needed. If so, he can just get some benefits for his subordinates. How does he know that we are opening a store? The twins couldn't be sure, so he brought a letter to directly ask Ryan who had just returned to the common room after lunch. Fred asked strangely when Ryan looked at the list in the letter because they never told Percy that they were opening a shop now. Percy and they have been patrolling Divert Alley and Overturning Alley recently, and that place is a little bigger. A group of people in your shop and Bessel have been receiving and shipping all day. It would be strange if he didn't find out. Staring at the list of materials said, at least your brother is much better after work than before, even if you know that you opened the store, you didn't write to Mrs. Weasley. That's right. This job really improved him. The twins spoke in an aria. Okay, you two don't make trouble. Ryan looked at the two people who were playing and said, we can take 90% of the things in this list. But most of the things we do now don't need these. Fred asked Lane, of course we are willing to help our own brother. But there is no need to lose money to help him. Who said you're going to lose money? Ryan's eyes widened. Don't you think that this is a good opportunity to increase the profitability of new products? To know that the Dark Wizard is being cleaned recently, the Ministry of Magic has mobilized a lot of staff who are not a resource strikers. Many of these people have not learned much. Fight. We can sell them labor protection supplies. Labor protection supplies? George looked at Ryan. What can we sell? Wouldn't it be clothes with iron armor? Ha ha. He laughed a few times with his brother and saw Ryan staring at them with serious eyes. What you wouldn't say is true. There is a large group of people in the Ministry of Magic who don't even have this simple spell. The two men smiled and Fred asked with an unbelievable expression. It's true. Ryan also showed a depressed expression. www.mtlnovel.com This thing was told by Percy in the letter, and he said in the letter that his five-member squad even had him there. Iron Armor Curse and one of the other two Iron Armor Curse spells can only be released during normal practice. Once you encounter the enemy, you can't release it when you are nervous. God, it's no wonder my father said he was the most powerful of their divisions. Is the Ministry of Magic now declining to this level? The twins were stunned by the news. A, if I remember correctly, the Mr. Weasley Division's work on the prohibition against the abuse of Muzz seems to have only two people. During the summer vacation, I heard him complain that his colleague was a very old person, which hurt him. It usually takes a lot of time to work overtime. This is not important. Fraser quickly digressed. The core is that you said that this will indeed be a big market but we are not sufficiently prepared for the time being. I have one here. Ryan finished and took out a small book. I have been trying to make my copper bracelet even cheaper. This is the result of my research, and I can use these raw materials. Cheap? Will this affect the sale of your bracelet? George asked with some concern. No, but in order to reduce costs and production difficulty, this product can only be counted as half an alchemy product. The biggest problem is that the effect weakens very quickly over time. For example, the defensive magic robe has only one validity period. Years, beyond this time, the above magic will quickly wear out and eventually fail. But it is very good that each thing with only two gallons can reach this level, Ryan explained. Indeed, let alone if things are good we can sell it again next year, the twins said in unison. Chapter 328, Kitchen After sending away the twin brothers who took the drawings from themselves to make a fortune, Lane was about to go for a short lunch break. Suddenly Hermione came in from outside the common room and stopped him. Ryan, can you go downstairs with me to do an investigation in the kitchen? What investigation? Ryan asked puzzled. He can't remember what kind of homework the professor arranged recently. An investigation about house elves. Hermione explained. Most of the work in the magic world is free slave labor for house elves, so I want to make a specific investigation to determine what the real situation of these house elves is. After all, except for Dobby, who has a mental problem I have seen a house elf and it is impossible to make a correct and comprehensive analysis in this case. Fortunately today Ginny told me where the house elf at Hogwarts, I would like to take this opportunity to take a look. As long as it's not vomiting, Ryan nodded at the thought. After a little tidying up, she and Hermione came to a bright and wide corridor towards the basement. This corridor is different from the corridor they often visit to the potion classroom. The torches are densely installed, and they are decorated with pleasant pictures everywhere. The pictures above are mainly food. It is much warmer than the underground corridor leading to the potion classroom. Halfway through the corridor, they could see a pile of wooden barrels piled up at the end of the corridor. That should be the legendary Hufflepuff common room, but not their goal. When they came to an oil painting with a huge silver bowl full of fruit in the middle of the corridor, the two stopped. A silver bowl full of food? Ginny should be here. She said her brothers often ran here for supper at night. After speaking, Hermione stepped forward and scratched the big green bear. Bear wriggled, chuckled and suddenly turned into a large green door handle. Hermione grabbed it and pulled the door open and walked in with Ryan. This is Hogwarts kitchen. Lane has long been known for this place but has never been here. 
The entire kitchen is a large room with a high ceiling and an area equivalent to the auditorium above. There are many shiny copper pots and basins piled around the surrounding stone wall, and there is a large brick fireplace at the other end of the room. It's similar to the kitchen he imagined. Good afternoon, noble gentleman and young lady, what are you doing here? A house elf, who looks older, came over and asked with a bow. We have been studying at Hogwarts for four years. It was only yesterday that we were the family elves who served us in school. Out of curiosity, we wanted to find out how you work and live in school. Just don't know if it will disturb you and cause you trouble. Ryan stepped forward. Oh, sir, you are too kind. This is not troublesome. The older house elf, who looks a little older, said after bowing again. You can look at whatever you want, and everyone will answer any questions. Soon Hermione ran aside and began to ask the house elves. Hogwarts elves looked pretty good. Each is very healthy and wears the same uniform uniformly. A tea towel with a Hogwarts badge on it. The elves wrapped those tea towels as robes. After glancing at the two, they lowered their heads to do their work, but the house elf would stop his work and answer his question seriously when Hermione asked him in the past. Ryan looked at the four long wooden tables in this huge kitchen curiously, and now they are clean. However, when eating, these tables will be filled with food, and then transferred to the above equivalent table by magic. After mastering alchemy, Lane once observed and analyzed many things at Hogwarts including the dining table. It was a pity that I only looked at the tables in the auditorium, and I couldn't analyze the teleportation spell on this thing before I saw the corresponding table in the kitchen. So now when he had the opportunity to enter the kitchen, Ryan began to observe these tables. To know that these tables can be used to transfer the above things in a short distance in Hogwarts Castle, which is said to be impossible to phantom, Lane has always suspected that the principle contained therein may be the same as the principle of the disappearing cabinet. If this thing can be clarified, it is estimated that he will be able to master more knowledge in space. Can you tell me a story about this table? Ryan asked a house elf beside him. The house elf showed a proud look and introduced to Ryan. The legend of this table is that the school builder Chai Parch left behind and was in use when our earliest ancestor came here. Hufflepuff. The things left by the school's founder for more than a thousand years can still be used normally which is unbelievable. Ryan showed a surprised look. After learning alchemy, he knows how difficult it is to make magic props that can maintain the effect for thousands of years. For example, the bracelet he made now can maintain the effect for one or two hundred years, and Valeria steel weapons can use the advantages of materials. Save more time. However, the additional enchantment above can save five or six hundred years. So Ryan showed a surprised look after seeing that the table magical effect of this material can save thousands of years. www.mtlnovel.com of course. The great Hufflepuff made a lot of magical things. When it comes to this, this house elf looks a little frustrated. Unfortunately, we lost her favorite gold cup. Golden cup? Ryan thought of Voldemort's Horcrux. Seeing Ryan interested in the golden cup, the house elf gave him a serious introduction. Legend has it that the gold cup is specially used to hold beverages and drinks. It can be used for drinking by the whole school. At the same time, it can keep what is put in it for one year. The only regret is that after Hufflepuff's death, the elves couldn't find the cup. They had always wondered which younger Hufflepuff family took away the things that Hufflepuff had designated for the house elves to stay in the castle during his lifetime. Unfortunately, as house elves, they couldn't enter or leave the castle at will, so they couldn't find the cup. Ryan nodded when he heard it. After knowing the original function of the cup, it would be much easier to strip Voldemort's soul piece once he got the cup. With this extra gain, he motioned to the house elf beside him to do his work and he himself began to analyze the magic on the table. After more than half an hour, Hermione completed her data collection. Ryan also understood the principles of these tables. He admired Hufflepuff for being able to use the properties of those raw materials to the extreme. At the same time Hufflepuff linked the tables with the magical cycle of the entire castle, which is why these tables can be kept for thousands of years. Putting away the small book, Ryan nodded at Hermione, who was not so pretty, and left the kitchen together. Of course, before leaving, they took a variety of snacks from the house elves. Chapter 329, Change. I think it's time to change the plan. At least until the end of the war, the whole world has not changed and the original condition is maintained. The action about the liberation of the house elves is meaningless. Upstairs back to the common room Hermione said suddenly on the way. You also found out? I didn't know until after talking today. After all, I haven't had any contact with them before. Hermione raised her eyebrows. It will be a long time for this kind of wholehearted creature that is slavery accustomed and even very satisfied with the life now, to change their minds, at least in our plan there is no such time and energy. Yeah, in addition to the problems of the house elves themselves, the overall environment is not friendly. House elves are basically concentrated in the hands of pure blood families. The pure blood based ministry of magic will never pass a decree similar to the liberation of slaves, even if there will also be a lot of problems in the implementation of the law. We cannot liberate the elves at home if they are not willing to be free. Speaking of which, Hermione glanced at Ryan, paused, and then said, in addition, 
These households basically monopolized the service industry or simple manufacturing in the wizarding world. Unlike what I imagined, this there was no way to the work of hemp wizards. I just took it for granted at the time. Hermione admitted her previous shortcomings. It's not just that, Lane said. Once you liberate them, many house elves will lose their jobs. So how should they survive? And if the free elf enters the market, if they the wizard's job, it will cause serious opposition. That would be worse. It is true. I just found through investigation that most wizarding families would not abuse their house elves. After all, house elves are their slaves and their property. Few idiots will destroy their own property. Therefore, the liberation of house elves is not so imminent. That's why I gave up this part of the plan, because I found that I was thinking wrong, and following that line of thought was not good for everyone, including house elves. Finally Hermione concluded. So, let's focus on improving our strength now. In the wizarding world, only this is the one that determines everything. Ryan's sentence ended the discussion about the house elf. Although the problem of house elves is a bit unpleasant, it is not without good news these days. For example, from the recent Prophet Daily, it can be seen that the big-mouthed Baraita Skit has now focused his attention on the Ministry of Magic, and finally left Hogwarts. You don't need to look at the stories of the spicy eyes that were made up. Last week's lecture on protecting magical creatures, Shanghai finished the Golden Snitch, so this week he changed a new magical animal. When I walked to the playground, everyone was worried that he would show those dangerous creatures again in class, especially after seeing a few cartons out of Hagrid. All kinds of uneasiness reached the peak, because the previous fried snails used this out of the carton. Fortunately. After approaching, Ryan saw a group of fluffy black guys with long noses and flat front claws like a shovel. When everyone looked at them, they also used their own small eyes. Look at the students. Sniff. Ryan couldn't recognize this animal. This is the star of the movie Where is the Magical Animal in the Previous Life? Needless to say, this is an absolute star. These are Sniffs, Hagrid and other classmates gathered together and said, they can usually be seen under the mine. They like shiny things. Now, look. One Sniffed suddenly thought he bit Hagrid's pocket watch chain but was easily grabbed by a grid and put it back in the box. It is said that the author of the book Where is the Magical Animal? Newt's commander once raised a sniff and helped him a lot during his adventure. Hagrid added some extra knowledge. After introducing this magical creature for the rest of the class, Hagrid asked them to take a sniff in the turned land in front of him to find the 100 dwarf gold coins he had buried. Obviously, this batch of sniffer has been drained. They will hurry to the classmate who let them go after finding something and spit the gold coins into their hands. It wasn't like Scamander's sniffing that I saw something sparkling and wanted to put it in a pocket on my stomach. Finally Ron sniffed to win the championship, and the gold coins it brought back piled up Ron's thighs. He also received a large piece of Duke of Honey's chocolate from Hagrid as a reward. Later in the dark magic defense class, Ryan was called out to play against Moody alone. Fortunately, except for a little embarrassment, Ryan supported enough for five minutes. Naturally, Moody encouraged him to become an Ruhr after graduation. After being rejected, he was not angry, but sincerely invited Ryan to sit in his office when he had no classes in the future. He was willing to share his experience as an Ruhr with Ryan over the years. Moody is indeed a person who has really fought all his life for justice, which is worthy of respect. But the matter of his being an Ruhr is still forgotten. After all, Ryan does not feel that he is the kind of person who is willing to dedicate his life to the cause of justice. Since Lord Voldemort's return, Principal Dumbledore has often disappeared from the school along with his old buddy Moody. In the last month, Moody's transfer has been adjusted two or three times. The only good news is that the recent progress of the two people is very good from the expressions of the two people. A week before Halloween, Ryan inexplicably received a note from Dumbledore while reading a book in the library, which asked him to go to the principal's office once on Saturday, with the password, Zizzy Honey Sugar attached to the back. What's the principal looking for you for? Hermione frowned. As an insider of Voldemort's resurrection, he felt that Dumbledore must have something to do with Ryan this time. She was a little worried about Ryan's safety. Don't worry, Ryan patted Hermione's hand for comfort. Even if there is something, go with President Dumbledore. In this case, even if the danger is in front of Professor Dumbledore, it is blocked. After finishing lunch on Saturday morning, Ryan came to the principal's office at the appointed time. When he stepped up the stairs, he discovered that there was Professor Moody besides Dumbledore. The two were sitting across the desk, drinking tea, and looked relaxed from their appearance. Principal Dumbledore, what's the matter with me? Ryan asked after entering the office www.mtlnovel.com We found something and need your help now, Dumbledore said to Ryan. But I'm just a student. How could I help you? Ryan was confused when he heard the request, because he didn't think that the two old people who could add up to 200 years old could solve the problem. Hey, don't say that. On the one hand, some of the suggestions you made last time are good, so I hope to hear your suggestions. On the other hand, we need an alchemist, but people who know alchemy now are too less, and to ensure that the news of Voldemort's resurrection does not leak out, the person must be reliable and unremarkable, so we selected you. And I just want to tie potential people together with myself, 
so as not to cause adverse factors to his planning, Ryan slandered that, after all, a hemp seed student who is helpless and helpless in the magic world can master alchemy itself it's not normal, and it's inevitable to become the object of attention. Fortunately, there are few cases of great achievements in a certain area after the occasional adventure in the magic world, but there are still many cases in the face of the neutral discipline of alchemy. Professor Dumbledore has not much doubt, especially Ryan as a hemp wizard the possibility of him and Voldemort mixing together. So although Dumbledore had a temptation to use Ryan, it was at least for friendly purposes. In short, Dumbledore's impression that Ryan is a scholar and class, but with a passion of young people, such as participating in the top three competition this time. As a teacher, he needs a certain amount of guidance to prevent Ryan from going the wrong way. Ryan naturally hoped that the headmaster would keep this understanding. Thinking of here, Ryan said to Dumbledore, I'm very happy to help you, so please do so. Chapter 330, Look For. Don't be so nervous. Professor Dumbledore made a cup of black tea and a chair with his wand, and then signaled to Ryan, sit down and have a cup of tea. Professor Moody just praised you as much as many are as, so I remembered calling you over to help us deal with something. Ryan did not speak at this time, just quietly holding the teacup and listening. Soon Dumbledore asked the question he wanted to ask. Do you know the Horcrux? I know a part. Ryan looked at Dumbledore and said, there is this aspect in alchemy. In alchemy, the Horcrux is classified as the human alchemy part. Oh? Since you know the Horcrux, would you like to talk about what you think of the Horcrux? Dumbledore looked a little interested, and sat the leaning forward slightly to look at Ryan. Well, how to say Ryan thought for a moment and said, it feels a little lost because of smallness. This is the easiest way to live for me, but it is too flawed. If I were to, I would rather get the fragment of Our Lady of Roses. So you don't think that making Horcrux is a good way? Dumbledore asked about the Horcrux regardless of what he didn't understand. Yes, unless there is no other way to go or there is no other way to do it. Otherwise, any other way is better than this way. Lane pretended to know nothing about something, but Dumbledore was fast just talked about this matter. Then if I tell you that Voldemort tried to live forever in this way, under the half-moon shaped glasses, Dumbledore's blue eyes flashed like a mischief. Isn't he pure blood? As far as I know, he has always claimed to be a descendant of Slytherin, preaching the benefits of pure blood. So it is impossible not to know the problem. Lane made a surprised expression. Unfortunately, for various reasons, he didn't know the possible problems. Well, Let's not talk about this for now. I am looking for you today because I probably determined the location of a Voldemort's Horcrux. You need to work with you. I will solve it. Is this a payment certificate? But Ryan did not resent this matter. Besides, knowing that Voldemort has Horcruxes, it is reasonable to destroy some Horcruxes while Voldemort is in poor condition. As for why Deng is called Ryan, Ryan can understand that his level is already similar to that of an adult wizard in his eyes. It is understandable to call a professional alchemist in order to crack Voldemort's magical institutions. To know that Dumbledore is a complete pragmatist, he will choose the best of the various schemes. And for Dumbledore, nurturing new people is also very important. After all, he is more than 100 years old. In view of the fact that Harry Potter's level is not enough for the time being, it is completely understandable that Dumbledore will find a student with a sufficient level and a good relationship with Harry for safety reasons. As for why he was alone in facing the Voldemort's Horcrux in the original text, it can only be said that he was a little too confident at the time. And after the war of the Ministry of Magic and his battle with Voldemort, he felt a lot of pressure. In this case, it is understandable that there is some confusion in doing things. Now the diary in the Horcrux has been destroyed, as is the crown. The rest is the pendant box in the Sirius family, the gold cup of Hufflepuff in the Gulling Vault, the ring in the old house of Gunter, Nagini and the Harry Potter accidentally made special. Judging from the information available, Today Dumbledore said that destroying a Horcrux would definitely not be Harry Potter, and Nagini is unlikely, because Harry will be put at the end and you this freshly baked Horcrux old Deng may not know it now. The remaining estimate is to choose one of the three gold cup rings and pendant boxes. It is not known which Dumbledore knows. If everyone is ready, I think we can prepare for today's schedule, Dumbledore said with a smile, and then beckoned that the phoenix fox on the shelf flew down and let everyone gently grab Fox's tail. After everything is ready, the phantom shift begins. It can only be said that this kind of movement has a really bad experience, and after another journey of plugging people into the pipeline and hitting them out again, they stood on a country road, with tall, tangled bush hedges on both sides. Overhead it is the sky of twilight, as clear and blue as the forget-me-not flowers. Where is this, Dumbledore? Professor Moody asked directly. As an old man of Dumbledore, he naturally opened his mouth to ask when he was unclear. I've been here a long time ago and almost forgot about this place. Fortunately, I didn't fall directly into the river. Dumbledore said a few words of dissatisfaction next to Phoenix Fox, as if protested the professor's degrading. Well, Fox, you will never lead the wrong way. Speaking of this, Professor Dumbledore touched Fox and said to Moody, This is the hometown of Voldemort's mother. I think he hid a horcrux here. After listening to this sentence, Ryan looked around and found that there was only a hedge, 
and he could not see the surroundings at all. However, after walking a few steps with Professor Dumbledore, they turned to the left along the road, and their eyes suddenly opened up. A valley appeared in front of them. There is a small village in the valley between two steep hillsides, with the church and cemetery clearly visible. On the hillside opposite the valley, there is a large, dilapidated house. Several windows of the house were sealed. The tiles on the roof were incomplete, and the creeper crawled all over the house. It looked damp and desolate, as if it had been uninhabited all year round. This is Little Hangerton Village. The big house opposite should be Riddle House. Young Voldemort did the same thing as Alsace the www.mtlnovel.com after looking at two famous ruins. Ryan followed Dumbledore's footsteps. They did not enter the village after walking a steep downhill road. Dumbledore used magic to move a hedge of space to a height of one person, and then motioned everyone to pass from here. Compared with the road just now, the road is worse now, not even on the road. Under Dumbledore's leadership, they waded through the knee-high grass. The ground beneath the grass is not flat, pitted, and covered with rock. Ryan took the initiative to step up and support Moody, who was unable to move, and Moody did not refuse this good intention. Finally they came to a grove and Dumbledore stopped and pulled out his wand. I think everyone should be vigilant in the following roads and be ready to go to war at any time. Ryan pulled out his wand and drew Gryffindor's dagger from the waste bag with the other hand. It's a good thing to prepare for such a narrow place, Moody said. When I was young, I also had a good dagger, and I was good at using some weapons that are not so wizard-like in small places, and they used them well, until I got a curse in my knee. In Moody's voice, several people stepped into the forest. Fortunately, there is nothing messy in the forest. Only a dilapidated house. The house is far more ruined than imagined, and even at first glance Ryan didn't see it as a house. The roof of the house has collapsed, and there are only a few holes in the windows. The various plants growing around the whole house even blocked the whole house. Thick moss grows on the stone wall. If you look closely, you think it is a small slope. Okay, I think we are here. Professor Dumbledore walked over to the wreckage of the house. Chapter 331, Old House. The sky in late spring was clear and cloudless and the sunlight brought warmth to the earth. However, these were not felt in the woods outside the village of Little Hungerton, and the ancient trees cast a chilly dark thick shadow. Ryan standing in the woods shuddered involuntarily. Don't be nervous, you should believe me and Professor Moody, Dumbledore said in a gentle tone. It's okay, I just suddenly went into the shade and felt a little cold. By the way, Professor, where is this place? This is the old mansion of the Gunter family. They claim to be direct descendants of Slytherin. Voldemort's mother was born here. His so-called Slytherin blood is also from this family. Dumbledore explained. Descendants of Slytherin? But this, Lane said incredulously, pointing to the shack in front of him. After all, it was one thing to know, and another thing to see with his own eyes. Looking at the shack in front of him, he could hardly associate this with Slytherin's name. But that's the fact, Dumbledore said slowly. The Gunter family is a very old wizarding family known for their restlessness and violence, because they are used to getting married by close relatives. This personality trait is more pronounced from generation to generation. They lack rationality, and they especially lack luxurious pomp. Therefore, long before Voldemort's grandfather had many generations, the family's property was squandered, and in the end it could only be reduced to this point. This proves that no matter whether it is magic or not, the problem of marriage of close relatives is revealed, but these problems are exposed more slowly when there is magic. Okay, let's clean up here first. Ryan, you can see if there is anything unusual. After that, Professor Dumbledore began to wave his wand to clear the collapsed roof. Ryan took out his portable alchemy ray and a large collection of bottles and jars to look for signs of magic around him. Professor Moody glanced at the two people and clenched his wand staring cautiously. After a few drops of blood and a pinch of mixed powder were placed on the alchemy ray, blue and white flames ignited on the six corners of a six-pointed star on the alchemy ray. In the recitation of Ryan's spell, these flames began to move quickly along the runes and lines of the alchemy array. Finally a flame ignited across the alchemy array. The materials in the center of the alchemy array slowly floated in midair while the flames were running, and mixed with each other under the direction of Ryan's gestures. It turned into a green powder. Every walk will leave traces. Ryan recited the mantra in ancient Latin. The voice fell and a gust of wind suddenly appeared, blowing all the powder on the alchemy table towards the room that Professor Dumbledore had just cleaned out. Dot. Soon. The whole house was enveloped in a piece of fluorescent green powder. These powders slowly settled down with the passage of time, and finally all fell to the ground. Okay, Ryan said to the two professors on the side. Professor Dumbledore laughed, and then walked directly into the ruins of the Gunter family. Moody leaned on the door of the ruined building and stared at the surroundings with vigilance. As Ryan stepped into the door, Moody whispered next to him, I'm right, you did a great job. Most of the powder in the room has completely disappeared. But there are five or six places that show a luminous green light instead. This means that there is a magical response in these places, so there are fewer places to search. Everyone searches in the past according to the size of the magic reaction, and every place where there is a magic reaction can dig something. However, 
The Gunter family was indeed defeated. The dugouts were all broken gadgets and worthless. Okay, let's see what this is. Dumbledore came to the place where the reaction was the weakest. Behind the decorative slab above the fireplace, they could see the roughness of the slab after cleaning up the dust on the decorative board carved a snake. The badge of the Gunter family. This place is quite in line with Voldemort's character. He must have a sense of ritual when placing these things, and he won't let it be randomly. Professor Dumbledore waved his wand while removing that slate. The strange thing is that there is nothing behind the slab, only a complete stone. But there is a rectangular green light spot on the stone. Ah, it's illusion. Dumbledore shouted the organ before waiting for Ian to do anything, and after a few strokes of his wand, there was no reaction. Under the light, a groove appeared in the stone. A Jinkan Cam box was placed in the groove, but on the mouth of the groove, many green runes emerged. Dispel harmful magical creatures, prevent fire and weather, strengthen curse and fight back watching Professor Arun Dumbledore report the functions of those runes one by one. Ryan looked carefully at how Dumbledore recognized and destroyed these things. Okay, Professor Dumbledore reached out and took the gold box from the table. It turned out that he avoided the most magical place in the gap, and after breaking the magic on the stone, he punched a hole in the side and took out the box. Looking at Professor Dumbledore's plan to open the lid of the box right here, Ryan hurried forward to stop. Professor, we haven't rushed to get all the things. It's better to return to the office to deal with it. It's true. I'm a little irritable. Dumbledore stopped his hand reaching towards the box, took a dragon skin pocket from his arms and threw the box into it. www.mtlnovel.com Lane could feel that this pocket was really used. It is made by the dragon skin instead of the leather products such as the dragon skin gloves made by dragon vein creatures listed on the students list every year. The accumulation of a hundred years of wizarding should not be underestimated whether it is knowledge or wealth. It seems that the estimate of the true strength of that vote of pure blood needs to be adjusted higher. Maybe there are several ancestors in the basement of each of those families who are ready to unveil the coffin at any time. After confirming that there was nothing missing in the room, the three returned to Hogwarts Principal's office on the Phoenix Express. In Professor Dumbledore's Principal's office, three people looked at the golden box on the table around the table. I have checked that there is nothing wrong with the box, so let me open the box. Dumbledore reached for the golden box again, but was still stopped by Ryan. Professor Dumbledore, this golden box was created by a goblin. Special materials and techniques isolate all our investigative methods. What if there is a curse on something like that? Especially if you said that the person is good at confusing people, even the organs inside can only control you for a few seconds, and the consequences are unimaginable. So I want to let me open the box, so that even if there are any organs, you can easily control me. I'm not too old to need a minor child to protect me from danger. Moody also stood up after hearing this sentence. Simply let me come, Ryan. You are too young, and some curses may kill you instantly. I think I can carry it for a while in this case. Albus can also control me and avoid it. Danger. Finally, Professor Moody took over the task of opening the box. Ryan stood behind Dumbledore and watched him alertly. Chapter 332, Destroy. We seem a little too smooth today. Ryan asked as Moody prepared. The magic in the Gunter cabin is not as much as imagined, and it is not very powerful. Most of them are about hiding and the reinforced magic. There is no poison curse. I feel this is not normal and does not meet the psychology of that person. I am a little worried about what is dangerous in this box. There's no need to worry so much, Ryan. Dumbledore comforted. Voldemort hid his relationship with the Gunter family, and her arrogance wouldn't think that others could find out the relationship. In this case, he should not set too much magic attracts extra attention. But for my professor, who watched him enter Hogwarts, his secret is not as well preserved as he thought. When Ryan and Professor Dumbledore talked, Moody prepared enough defense for himself. Under the surveillance or six eyes, Moody carefully opened the box. But unlike what Dumbledore imagined, nothing happened. It's still a little too tense at an older age. This Moody's breath was relieved to see nothing happened. He even smiled at Professor Dumbledore. But when he lowered his head and brought his eyes into contact with the contents of the opened box, the mutation suddenly appeared. There are a lot of obstacles. Ryan slammed his hand out of the box without any warning, and launched a spell. But he was still a little late and Dumbledore had already cast the same spell when he had just finished chanting the spell in his heart, flying Moody out. Nice silent spell, Ryan praised when putting a layer of protective spells on the box. And smart, where did you see that Professor Moody was wrong? I think Professor Moody is an experienced error. how could he touch such a dangerous thing directly with his hand? Ryan replied. Yes, so you are a natural error. I always thought that only my old man, Albus, could see that I had a problem. At this time, Moody, who was flying, also climbed up and walked here. Come. It looks like there is no injury. The charm on the ring in the box is too powerful, even if I am careful to guard against it, it still strikes me. In addition to the charm spell, there is a spell to counteract the guarding heart, a strong protective spell, and there is a very vicious curse at the bottom. Once the trick is taken, it can only wait for death. Dumbledore waved his wand speaking. After knowing that there is a charm spell, the principal easily isolated the charm effect, 
and then analyzed what was on it. And Voldemort may have used the precious resurrection stone as the Horcrux because of ignorance. It is a waste. This also makes this Horcrux difficult to destroy. The magic item itself is already very strong, let alone Voldemort. There are still a bunch of spells on it. Professor Dumbledore seemed a little angry. Think about it too. The Deathly Hallows is something that Professor Dumbledore pursued when he was young, especially this resurrection stone. In this case, Seeing that I have been pursuing something for almost my entire life is so spoiled by people, and I haven't scolded and scolded because of Professor Dumbledore's extremely high quality. Wait, Professor, I think I might have something here that can destroy Hookrooxes. After finishing, Ryan pulled out a silver dagger. This was the last time I got it in Brazil, when I found this dagger. The dagger box says it has been quenched by Basilisk, so it is indestructible. Is this the one you just took? Let me see. Dumbledore took the dagger and took a closer look. It was originally cast with the Gryffindor sword left in Hogwarts. The dagger, mentioned in the school records. It is just that the dagger was taken away by the Black Wizard in a battle. I did not expect you to find it. After Dumbledore took the dagger and stabbed the ring in the box, Ryan, who was standing next to him, could only see the miserable green light in the box and a black smoke. However, all of these changes were blocked by Professor Dumbledore's previous defense. Finally, with a jingle sound from the depths of the soul, all the abnormalities in the box disappeared. Professor Dumbledore took a deep breath by holding the table as if he had just run up the stairs from the hall. Albus, are you okay? Moody's voice hoarse in a hoarse voice. It's okay, the Horcrux has been successfully destroyed. Dumbledore said to sit around the table and brought himself a cup of hot tea with his wand. The above is more photographable than I thought. Fortunately, Ryan reminded me to avoid making a big mistake. At this time, the ring was completely safe, but the resurrection stone inlaid on the ring also left a crack. Dumbledore took the ring from the box and looked at it carefully, when Ryan thought he was going to put the ring on his hand. Professor Dumbledore stood up unexpectedly and put the ring on the shelf behind him. Lean, remember, many times, the grand dream of powerful forces is not as good as the companionship of your loved ones. Otherwise, when you are older, you will regret being too ruthless when you were young, and you may have missed a lot. Later, Dumbledore spoke to Ryan. If other people would only think that this is an ordinary moral guidance to students, but Ryan knew that he thought of his sister after seeing the resurrection stone today. This is the emotion www.mtlnovel.com after drinking afternoon tea together. Professor Dumbledore let Professor Moody leave. Ryan wanted to leave together, but Dumbledore stopped him and asked him to borrow the Gryffindor dagger, on the grounds that he might need it later, so he wanted to borrow it now. In view of the excellent credibility of Principal Dumbledore, Lane did not hesitate to lend the dagger to Principal Dumbledore. Of course, from a certain point of view, Ryan can be so refreshing because this dagger is basically mastered by Luo Zen and his analysis. The only thing that hasn't been cracked is how the fairies made the sword material sterling silver. Since there is no way to further study this dagger temporarily, it is also a good deal to lend the dagger for Professor Dumbledore's favor. Naturally, after taking Ryan's things, Dumbledore was also equivalent to accepting a favor. It may be to repay this relationship, or it may be a training for Ryan. Dumbledore gave Ryan a piece of parchment with his name on it allowing him to borrow some books related to alchemy from the restricted area of the library. I believe you can make good use of this knowledge, right? Dumbledore said as he handed the note to him. Apostrophe yes, please rest assured, sir. Ryan seriously assured Dumbledore after receiving the note that this was the only knowledge accumulated over the millennium in the only magic school in the British Isles, even if only a small part of it enough to gain a lot. In addition, this action also allowed Ryan to gain a 30-point offset. Dumbledore finally waved his hand to signal that Ryan could leave. When he stepped on the spiral staircase to leave the office, Ryan saw Dumbledore sitting behind his desk and closed his eyes as if thinking about something. Chapter 333, The Secret of the Library Early the next morning, Ryan rushed to the library by himself. After giving Professor Dumbledore's signature note to Mrs. Pins, he was surprised to learn that he could not take these books out. You can't take it out. You can only watch it at the designated location. Why is that? Ryan asked puzzled. I have borrowed books from the restricted book area before. But there are not so many rules. Because Professor Dumbledore's approval of the books you read is beyond the scope of students. Some of these books are themselves a source of danger, and the other parts have such and other defects. For example, the carrier of the book has become very fragile for too long. In this case, you can only look at the designated place to ensure safety. The safety here refers not only to books but also to people who read books. After talking about Mrs. Pings, she looked at Ryan up and down. Professor Dumbledore has agreed that you enter the storage place of that book, then he should believe that you are qualified to read the precious books stored in it. But I still need to warn you, if you destroy any of the books in it, I will drive you out immediately. Even if Professor Dumbledore comes here. Okay, come with me. After warning and making sure Ryan listened carefully, Mrs. Pins took Ryan to the direction of the restricted area. Surprisingly, they did not stop by the bookshelves in the restricted area. Instead, 
He walked all the way down the hallway in the bookshelf to the depths of the forbidden area until he stopped in front of the wall. This is, this is where the important books are really stored. You don't think that the so-called book band area where the lower grade students can mix in at night will have any dangerous or important books in it. There, Ryan finally knew why Harry was able to enter the book band area when he was in first grade because that book ban area was not a particularly important place at all. This also explains why Hogwarts, a thousand-year-old prestigious school, puts such a low alert in places where important books are placed when the magic world of use knowledge so important. There is a wonderful relief of a baboon holding a new moon on this wall. In traditional mystics, this image is a symbol of the ancient Egyptian of wisdom. Not knowing whether it was an illusion or not, Ryan felt that the baboon's hair was slightly bent, and the area above his head was slightly refreshed. Does it mean cleverness? Ryan suddenly had a strange idea, and he began to worry a little about his hairline. But Mrs. Pince didn't find Ryan thinking aside. She put the note on the empty hand of the baboon relief, and when the note was just placed on the hand, the relief moved. The embossed baboon raised the note in his hand, and then faced the moon in the other hand. Only then did Ryan discover that the moon was carved with a moonstone and placed on it. The moon made of moonlight stone suddenly released a silver moonlight, even if it is clearly seen during the day. In the light of the moonlight, the signature of Professor Dumbledore on the parchment also shone with golden light and silver moonlight. After the inspection, the baboon returned to its original state. Mrs. Pings took off the note and gave it to Ryan, and then grabbed a branch on the relief to pull it. The old branch made of that stone was pulled like a rubber. After Mrs. Pings let go of her hand, the branch returned to its original shape. Then a click sounded, and a wall on the edge of the relief began to move upward. Finally, a hole the size of an ordinary door appeared. Okay, follow me. Don't touch anything, Mrs. Pings urged and walked directly to the big hole exposed in the wall, and Ryan followed closely. This is a very tall room, the main body is a grey, very rough stone, looks unremarkable. But Ryan immediately recognized that this is a very good magic stone, which can resist magic attacks, and is extremely expensive outside. Listen to Fred saying that in the magic world, only the top families can build their own treasure room with various materials, and the large space of the whole house here is made of this material at a glance. Entering from that tiny doorway, Ryan stepping on the rough slate floor, had a feeling that he had entered the giant kingdom. A large number of one or two story bookshelves stand as if there are hills standing next to it, with beautifully made bronze escalators and platforms. Herbs, magical creatures, enchantments, history, various books are placed in different areas according to classification. The bookshelves are not only paper books, but also written on wood chips, papyrus scrolls, and even Ryan saw a large stone slab carved with various words on the bottom of several bookshelves. It's magnificent, Ryan exclaimed involuntarily. He never knew there was this place in Hogwarts before. This has been since the school was established. There was a trace of excitement and pride in Mrs. Pin's voice. At that time, the Big Four collected the books and materials they collected here. In the next thousand years, Hogwarts will receive the very important or dangerous materials collected by the school that are not suitable for outside. Only it is open to students or professors who are approved by the principal. And a person who enters this house will sign a magic contract with Hogwarts itself and cannot disclose anything inside to others, Ryan nodded, which would explain why he hadn't heard of this before www.mtlnovel.com ok, put your hand up, here you need to do a magic certification, do not resist if you feel the magic in your body is stimulated, the two people came to the center of the house at this time, in the middle of this library is an empty space with a stone platform carved out of white marble, after placing his hand on the top of the stone platform and embedding a whole daylight stone slab that is larger than the palm of his hand, Ryan felt that there was something swiping from the palm of his hand, and it felt like a crisp. And this kind of thing also carries magic when scanning, so that the magic conditioned reflex in Ryan's body gives the same feedback. Maybe magic and science will come to the same destination in the end, Ryan thought, because the stone platform reminded him of the palm print recognition system that he saw in science fiction movies. You can put your hands down. Your magical fluctuations have been recorded. The next time you come, you can open the door by putting your hands in the baboon relief. Also, your permission is limited to alchemy, so you will only able to move in these areas, activities in other areas will block you by magic barriers, if forced to break through will elicit a warning. At the same time, no one can spend more than six hours in this house every day. Pop up. Finally, I wish you can gain the knowledge you want in it. After finishing speaking, Mrs. Pings I simply left. Leave Ryan alone here. It's time to start the work. Ryan went to the area of alchemy after saying a word to himself. Even if the alchemy he mastered before was very esoteric, the rules would be different in different worlds. So if you want to exert full power in this world, then learning alchemy in this world is a good way. It's at least much better than trying to explore by yourself through various attempts. Chapter 334 News. During this time Ryan ran to the secret library as soon as he was free. There are many books in the library, many of which are things he has never seen, or even heard of. At the same time, 
Ryan found that the data collected here also covered a very wide range. It is not only the research materials of British wizards, but the collection of data even spreads all over the world. For example, Ryan is now looking at a thick book written in Latin in a floral style in Latin. The cover of the book is gold inlaid with gemstones. The pages inside are made of sheep skin of corkers. This kind of sheep is the descendant of the legendary golden sheep. The parchment made of their skins is a beautiful light golden color, which cannot be corrupted for thousands of years and can carry the magic power. The same is true of the ink used for copying. The venomous snake venom added in it can ensure corrosion protection and color fixation, and can also be slightly etched on parchment paper to ensure that the written things will not be abraded. The knowledge recorded in the book is more precious than these, and it is seven or eight potions that can permanently enhance a person's ability in a certain aspect. The only problem now is that many of the raw materials recorded in it are now gone. Even if it doesn't go away, Ryan can't afford it now. Alchemy is indeed a knowledge of burning money. Even if you can make money, you will feel that the money is not enough. Thankfully, Ryan now has several world resources for him to squander. He is reading this book now to hope to derive the principle of action of the medicine from the knowledge in the book and then see if there is a way to learn from other the world has found similar substitutes to make medicines with similar effects. The books stored in the alchemy area are relatively small compared to other areas, but there are two or three thousand in total. Even if Ryan's physique has been upgraded many times now, he can still remember it. It's a big project to read these things again. But after reading the book here for a few days, Ryan discovered that the secret library's way of identifying personnel was actually through soul swings. The process of magic verification before is actually to collect the data of soul fluctuation through magic fluctuation. This is actually a very sophisticated magic that can accurately identify unwelcome outsiders. Even someone like Harry who possesses the invisibility cloak in the Deathly Hallows cannot deceive the Guardian magic here before he learns how to use this treasure. After all, the invisibility cloak that can be seen through Moody's magic eyes can only say that Harry will not use it now and the guard magic in this place is far stronger than Moody's eye. In this case, Ryan found a way to make a coincidence. Now the rose crystal on the bookshelf is floating in the air and quickly flipping through the book, while her artificial elf, Lushor, is quickly writing down the content on the page. Because rose crystal has the same soul as Ryan, he is also regarded as a part of Ryan in this library. In this case, he can help record the contents of those books. The puppet reading method is more like scanning. In this case, her recording speed is much faster than when humans read it. It took only half a month to scan almost all the books here. After scanning all the books here by Rose Crystal, Ryan collaborated with Rose Crystal through soul connection while lying in bed at night. Reading a book in his mind is much faster than reading it slowly. Soon he found some familiar books, such as Qayulu written in papyrus, Papu carved on bamboo slips Zia and so on. But these books have many more key points than the non-magic version making them into genuine precious magic books of alchemy. The next time is the time for learning. Ryan even sometimes went to the Wanji grocery store to read for the purpose of learning time. At the same time, in order to avoid showing his feet, he still sometimes reads books in that library. It is in this state that time passes slowly, until the day after the Easter holiday. It was the last week of May and the weather was already hot. Professor Dumbledore was still out of school most of the time. He should have gone out and directed Voldemort to find Voldemort's other Horcruxes. At the end of a day of transformation, Professor McDonagall left him and Harry after the transformation. Porter, Liang, you are going to the Quidditch Stadium below at nine tonight. Professor McDonagall said to him. Mr. Bagman is going to tell the Warriors what the third project is. It was at this time that Ryan responded that as a member of the Warriors, he would also participate in the True Wizard Tournament. But really, after experiencing the events of Voldemort's resurrection and destruction of Horcrux, he had almost forgotten this matter. So, at 8.30 that night, Harry joined Ryan in the Gryffindor common room and went downstairs. Along the way, they kept discussing the content of the last game. What do you think it will be? Harry asked Ryan as the two walked down the stone steps together and into the overcast night. I heard people at Booth Barton say that it is likely that we are going to look for some treasure underground. Underground? Absolutely impossible, Ryan denied. I haven't heard of any underground caves around here like Castroblius. If you dig one manually, the cost is too high. Doing this for a match not worth it. In the discussion. The two walked along the dark lawn toward the Quidditch Stadium, and then entered the stadium through a gap in the grandstand. The course is no longer smooth and smooth. It seems that some people have built countless long low walls here. These low walls are intricate and meanderingly extending in all directions. The people in Booth Partner also guessed a part. Ryan saw that there was a large amount of soil accumulation in several places in the middle. She repaired the trenches in several worlds and quickly realized that there should be some underground buildings. Good evening, shouted a pleasant voice. Ludho Bagman stood in the middle of the court, and four other warriors from other schools had arrived. Ryan and Harry crossed a low wall and walked towards them. How are you, do you think? When Ryan and Harry crossed the last low wall, Bagman happily asked www.mtlnovel.com that progress is good. 
isn't it? In another month, Hagrid would make them twenty feet high. If it is usual, Harry may be dissatisfied and worried about the big change in the Quidditch Stadium, but after seeing the scene where Voldemort came out of the pot, he now puts this matter first in his mind, only hoping to hurry up end the game. Naturally, there was not much reaction to Bagman's words. Okay, I think you guys can probably guess what we are going to do here. Bagman started to try to make the atmosphere live, watching everyone talk. Maze, Ryan said directly. Right, Bagman said, it's a maze. But this is not the same as the maze of Harbin. With the help of magic, this is an omnidirectional three-dimensional maze, but you can imagine that it is more difficult to deal with. The three items are very simple and clear. The top three cup is placed in the middle of the maze, and whoever can touch it first will get full marks. We just need to go through the maze. Furong said. There will be many obstacles, Bagman said cheerfully, jumping around on tiptoe. The Ministry of Magic of the three countries each provides a lot of magical creatures. There are some spells or puzzles that must be solved. You know, things like that. Also, their warriors who lead the school first enter the maze. At this point, he glanced at Harry eagerly, as if looking at a lot of gold gallons. Remember, you all have to work hard to succeed. It depends on your ability to cross obstacles. It should be fun, isn't it? Bagman concluded. Yes, it should be fun. After removing the problem of traitor and running Voldemort away, Ryan felt that the game should be a pure game, and he also planned to take a chance and relax. Chapter 335 Dragon Egg After notifying everyone, Bagman wanted to keep Harry a few words. But Harry made an excuse to leave with Ryan. I hope the game will end soon. Seriously? I don't think it is important now. I have other important things to do. I don't want to waste any more time. Harry complained on the road as he had a common secret person. He is very willing to pour out his inner things to Ryan in this regard. Don't think about it like this, Lane said. As far as I know, that person has been spreading terror and chaos, and hopes that the entire world will become desperate. And we only treat him like this every day. The real counterattack of behavior. So you should relax and don't let yourself be what the enemy wants. When I met Harry recently, I found that he always seemed to have a heavy heart. On a few occasions, he seemed to say something to himself or Hermione but didn't come over in the end. Ryan knew that this was Harry's psychological shadow after seeing Voldemort, and after all Dumbledore was too old and Harry had a generation gap. His comfort did not eliminate all the shadows in Harry's heart, so he took advantage of the opportunity Harry asked about to enlighten Harry. Enlightenment still works, especially with the help of Lena's spiritual soothing magic. Harry seems to relax a little bit, and is no longer as nervous as he was just now. Lane. What do you think of it there at the game venue today? As soon as they returned to the door of Gryffindor's common room, Ryan was stopped by Hermione, and Harry entered after seeing a good-looking farewell. Common lounge, the maze, the cellar, some magical creatures plus some magic spells. In short, it is a more conventional game. The biggest enemy may be the warriors of other schools. I think Dumbledore will carefully check all security issues this time, so there won't be much danger in the last game. Ryan said to Hermione. That's good. Hermione nodded. The last sudden attack was really shocking. I really don't want anything to happen again in this game. People in their 100s like Professor Dumbledore have suffered more than one loss on something. It is impossible to eat a loss repeatedly, so rest assured. Ryan reassured. By the way, I will give you a gift in the request room on Saturday. You don't have to spend so much money. Hermione felt that she had received a lot of help from Ryan before, and naturally rejected this offer according to her character. This gift is about improving your strength. After all, war is coming. In this case, you can improve some strength to help everyone. Under the persuasion of Ryan, Hermione decided to accept this kindness, because this a gift is not just a gift, it also represents a responsibility. It was Saturday, and after breakfast, the two hurried to the room where there was a request. After entering the door, they found that the request room had been transformed into a laboratory. In the center of the room was a table covered with white cloth, which was filled with various utensils. Okay, you sit down. Ryan first asked Hermione to sit down, and then took out three coconut scale ellipsoids from the space bag. This is? Hermione didn't recognize what it was for the first time, and everything in the book she read in her impression did not match this. Dragon egg. Ryan simply replied, there are many ways to improve ourselves by using the power of nature in the Ningfu's transfiguration book we previously got from the world of beauty and beasts. Experts from other worlds have discussed and improved these methods. We will use this method today. In the world of Song of Ice and Fire, Ryan got five alive dragon eggs, but besides that he also got three other dragon eggs that have been completely deactivated. Today, he intends to use these dragon eggs as raw materials to strengthen Hermione. As for why he did not strengthen himself in this situation, it was because he had strengthened too many times before especially some kind of power factor on alchemy, so that this method could not provide him with many benefits. This is too expensive Hermione looked a little uneasy. I'm ready for everything. If I don't proceed at this time, it's a waste. Ryan interrupted what she wanted to say. How is it different from Hagrid's dragon egg in the first grade? Hermione looked at the situation and couldn't change it. She simply changed the subject and pointed to the dragon egg. And this thing looks like a stone. After all, 
the world is different, and dragons are also different. Ryan explained, that world has experienced a long period of no magic, and only recently has the power of magic returned. The deterioration of the magic environment part of the dragon egg's completely lost vitality, so it can just be used as your reinforcement. Must be the dead dragon egg? Of course, if you are alive or killed, you need a lot of power to devour and assimilate another soul, which is easy to leave hidden dangers. At the same time, this situation does not meet the essence of the magic itself and harmony with nature. Magic operations are also much more difficult, Ryan said. Okay, you sit in the center of that alchemy formation. Don't move or think too much after sitting there. Everything follows my arrangement. Ryan called Hermione after the preparation. At the same time, you have to tell me something wrong in the ceremony. Hermione nodded and knelt down to the center of the magic circle as required. Ryan placed the three dragon eggs on the three corners of the six star star of the magic circle, and then poured the sky silver into the magic circle from a bottle. As soon as Tanyan touched the magic circle, he flowed along the lines of the town and wrapped up the dragon egg after encountering it. After consuming three ounces of sky silver, the magic circle finally took shape. The liquid silver liquid connects each part of the magic array just as blood connects the various organs of the body and the blood vessels, and the blood red light slowly reveals on the magic array. The three dragon eggs and Hermione started to glow with a flash of light www.mtlnovel.com rhythm like breathing. This also makes the entire magic circle come alive. After a few minutes of magic circle operation, the flashing frequencies of Hermione and the three dragon eggs slowly overlapped. Ryan took out a brush made of his own hair and dipped in dragon blood to draw a rune on the dragon egg. During this process, Hermione sat motionless. The slight sweat beads in her temples showed that she was actually very nervous, but she kept staying in the magic circle out of her trust in Ryan. After the runes were drawn, Ryan began to chant a spell to drive the magic circle, so that the laws contained in the dragon egg were revealed. Although Ryan looks relaxed now, it is entirely because the main power to run this magic circle comes from those sky silver and dragon blood. He only needs to pay very little magic power to guide. If you rely on your own power alone, a similar magic circle needs at least Dumbledore's Voldemort or Nicole May level wizards to drive it. Therefore, it is still important to go to other worlds to find resources. Sometimes resources can indeed be transformed into power. Tough dragon skin, powerful ancient magic defense, and indestructible dragon breath. These all contain countless laws forming a variety of combinations to give the dragon powerful power. Each small rune flew from the dragon egg to form different patterns in the air. When each rune left the dragon egg, the dragon egg would be dim. When the last rune left the dragon egg, the three dragon eggs turned into ashes at the same time. The reason for choosing three dragon eggs is because these dragon eggs have lost their vitality, and naturally the things contained in them will become incomplete with the passage of time. In order to ensure that the necessary things can be extracted, Ryan gave the blood this time and took out all the dead dragon eggs. Chapter 336, Strengthen. The Bing Room is now plunged into a blood red light. There is a complex magic circle on the floor in the center of the room. These lights come from the mysterious patterns of three blood red runes floating on the magic circle in the air. Formed a regular triangle, each group of patterns constitutes something corresponding to one of the three previous dragon eggs. These patterns enveloped the entire magic circle, which not only stained the interior space, but also made Hermione sitting in the center of the magic circle look vague, leaving only a dark figure. Now that the entire magic ritual has entered a critical moment, the first step is to eliminate unnecessary parts. The first thing to consider here is the degree of fit with Hermione. If the degree of fit is too low, it is very easy to induce a loss of control of power, which naturally needs to be eliminated. The second is the demand. For example, the dragon in the world of Song of Ice and Fire is actually a kind of Warcraft, so the wisdom of their beasts or the appearance of dragons is naturally unnecessary and can be directly eliminated. The last step is to integrate and weigh. After all, Hermione's body has limited content even if it has been strengthened once, so Ryan must choose. Fortunately, Slytherin's record on body transformation has some content in this regard. After integrating the knowledge of several worlds, the plan developed by Luo Zen has minimized the risk. As we all know, the dragon is a creature at the top of the biological chain, can adapt to most harsh environments, and also has the best wisdom among the beasts. In addition, he has an extremely strong body and a keenness to match his body. The most important thing is that the dragon also has some natural spell-like abilities, which is also the most powerful ability of this group. But everything in the world is balanced, and such a powerful creature will also have a lot of corresponding problems. For example, the dragon's magic is matched with his soul, and if this dragon wants to master its magic-like ability, it must accept its IQ. Similarly, if you want to obtain a powerful dragon body, you may need to accept a part of the dragon transformation. In short, this is a creature with many advantages, but the disadvantages are also obvious. Many of the advantages of the body are tied to negative effects, and even some are simply derived from the negative effects on people. If you do not want to become a large kobold with a lizard head after accepting the transformation, extreme irritability or serious obstacles to the world's understanding, then there must be some trade-offs in choice.
Fortunately, in the magic circle, the materialized sky silver and the dragon blood homologous to the dragon egg were used to make every rule hidden in the dragon egg appear clearly in front of Ryan, which made him have adjustments. Space. I thought that Slytherin would do the same in the next year, but at that time the magic research was still blank in some places. So he only summed up something simple. But Voldemort, who had seen the summary of these predecessors, should be too impatient when he was young, and finally chose the most dangerous defamation and blood vessel transplantation to accept these rules regardless of good or bad. This approach allowed him to gain a lot of shortcomings while gaining great power. Before the magic circle, Ryan reached out a handful of regular patterns, and as his magic command patterns began to change, the three groups of rule patterns were directly broken up, and the lines connecting the different rule patterns were cut off by Ryan with the help of the sky silver on the magic array and finally turned into a large number of independent patterns. A large number of complex runes that are difficult to bear by the human body have been deleted. At the same time, there have been deleted many parts with excessive side effects and the same parts in the three dragon eggs. Finally, there are some simple runes. The road is as simple as Jane. Ryan remembered this sentence inexplicably when he saw the last less than one-tenth scale. The next step is to regroup these remaining parts together. Under the direction of Ryan's fingers, the patterns began to slowly connect, and at the same time, they were sequentially charged by the magic circle below and emitted light. When all the regular patterns are finally connected, the regular patterns shrink and gather together, forming a small red ball on top of Hermione's head. After a closer look, he began to recite another part of the spell, and at the same time took out a peanut-sized pale golden sky silver crystal and threw it at the red ball. This method of making sky silver crystals is formed by repeatedly compressing and upgrading liquid sky silver. Ryan learned from Mr. Liu Ozen two days ago. It can also be regarded as the first high-level energy crystal made by the Lane Society. To this end, he also took out most of the loot seized last time as a gift to the teacher. Under the urging of magic, two things, one real and one virtual, synthesized a small ball between virtual and real and then slowly descended. Finally, when she touched Hermione's head, she turned into a blood-red light and merged with her. At this time, Hermione's body showed a strange suction force to draw the energy of the magic circle into the body. This should be the transformation to start to work. This time, there are not as many transformations as imagined. The first is to strengthen perception, which can enhance the sixth sense of people. It can make people avoid danger in many places, and it is easier to seize the opportunities and inspirations that are passing by when they can do all kinds of things. The second is a flexible body. As a flying creature, the dragon has a strong balance ability and flexibility that is not commensurate with a huge body. After this enhancement, Hermione can have a more flexible body and balance, and can do some actions that ordinary people cannot. The last and the most important enhancement is the tough soul. As everyone knows, the dragon soul is also extremely powerful. At least most of the soul control magic can't play any role on the dragon. www.mtlnovel.com after removing the side effects. The remaining power can only increase Hermione's soul toughness by about half. This doesn't sound much, but in fact this effect is already very powerful. According to the records that Ryan has seen before, even the most powerful alchemists and wizards in the world have a variety of methods to improve the toughness of the soul, but history has been the best in a person without causing side effects. The record is just barely reaching this level. As for why he didn't choose the dragoness most attractive physique or magic ability, it was entirely because when he analyzed the runes, he found that these very powerful abilities were completely bound to the dragoness body or soul. If you want to have these, you must completely transform yourself into a dragon. Not to mention the difficulty and the ability of the person who accepts the transformation. Simply transforming it into a beast that loses itself is unacceptable. The last tray of light in the magic circle also disappeared, which also means that this magical enhancement is completely over and Hermione slowly opened her eyes. How does it feel? Ryan asked. Um, Hermione tried to stand up after feeling it for a while, but the result might be a little numb because of the kneeling time. He sat back again. Ryan hurried over, she picked it up and put it on a few cushions in the corner of the wall, and then took out a cup of herbal tea and passed it. Hermione took a sip of the tea and said, I think it feels different from the whole person before, but I can't tell what's wrong for a while. It's okay, now lunchtime has just passed. We still have enough time to feel different from before. After he finished, he handed over a lunch. You can feel slowly after eating, I will always be with you here. Chapter 337, Exercise After both Ryan and Hermione had a simple lunch, the test began. Ryan first packed her things and went out with Hermione, and then turned the request room into a magical fighting field. Okay, let's get started. After moving around to make sure that he had completely recovered from the numbness just now, Hermione pulled out her wand and was ready to start the test. From the beginning of the battle, Ryan felt Hermione's level felt better than before, especially when she evades Ryan's attack and when she attacks Ryan, the timing she chooses is more precise than before, and this level is gradually rising as Hermione's mastery of her abilities in practice. After more than 10 minutes, 
the test was over. Ryan believed that Hermione now has enough self-protection ability in general combat. In this way, the most important goal when strengthening is completed. After the actual magic test, Lane decided to enter the limit test phase. Of course, this stage will naturally not use magic that may cause harm, but use melee melee to test. After all, this improvement is mainly the reaction ability and the sixth sense, which can also be tested without magic. In the case of armor and body protection, ordinary swords can't harm people who are protected by magic, so that absolute safety can be guaranteed. After both sides were ready to defend against magic, Ryan appeared with a one-handed sword. Hermione held a bayonet in one hand. The two bayonet swords were very similar, the only difference was that the left hand was slightly shorter. A coin was bounced by magic from the middle of the house at this time. The moment it landed, the two disappeared instantly, and after a few slips, they quickly met in the center of the field. Like two breezes, the two men waved their swords and twirled in the field. The silver light when the blade is waving is as beautiful as the wings when the butterfly is flying, which makes the two people look like two butterflies flying around in a circle. But what hides beneath this beauty is a terrible killer. Even if it has been fighting for five or six minutes, the sound of their wielding weapons can still be heard in the room. Because the fighting style of the two people came from the same source, both sides are constantly looking for each other's weak defenses to attack, and at the same time when the other side withdraws their sword defenses, they quickly withdraw and prepare for the next round of attack. After several minutes of fighting, there was no reason for a weapon collision. Finally, over time, Hermione's fitness gradually failed to keep up. At the twelfth minute of battle, a silver blaze formed by the waving blade in the center of the room finally heard a ding. After the light group disappeared, the two stood face to face. The fighting just now was really exhausting. Both of them could see the sweat on the other's face keep flowing down, flowing down the cheek to the chin, and then dripping to the ground. Ha, huh, ha huh still, it's still a little worse in physical fitness. Hermione took the sword into the bracelet and sat down with her knees against the wall. The sound of the collision just now was that she withdrew her sword a step later when she was weak, and the tip of the sword hit the ridge of the sword blocked Biling. Very good. Ryan sat next to her and said, in real combat, most of the time there will be no such situation that requires full output in a short time. You actually have enough strength to deal with it now. The real battle. However, there are still some places where you can continue to strengthen. Ryan only told Hermione at this time that she was reinforced in those places, and made some targeted comments. That is to say, my agility, perception, and soul tenacity have been improved, right? Hermione said after listening to Ryan's account. With the practice just now, she vaguely felt some changes in this area. This time, after Ryan made a clear suggestion. She quickly understood the changes in herself based on the practical experience just now. It's really, it's too much Hermione is no longer the ignorant little girl who just entered the magic world. She naturally knows how expensive this kind of strengthening method with few side effects is. Seeing that part of the material, there are three dragon eggs. Even if these dragon eggs come from other worlds, no matter what world dragon eggs are, they will not be cheap. At the same time, she could vaguely feel that besides the dragon egg, Lane had just used something more precious than the dragon egg on her. It's a little more expensive. These things are used by people. It can't be done in the warehouse except for taking up space. This sentence is indeed Ryan's truth. He thinks from his heart that all strengthening resources only after being used can their effects be manifested. It is a very stupid way to collect these things like a treasure keeper. Besides, Lane believes the most precious thing consumed in this ritual, the golden sky silver crystal. In the foreseeable future, he can make it. Teacher Leo Zen taught him the knowledge of the aspect, as long as the strength reaches everything it will not be a problem. The only regret is that Ryan has already condensed in his body what is called the master of the power to open the truth, which is extremely high in alchemy, so any alchemy strengthening method lower than this kind of thing is for him. It is invalid. But, Hermione's face showed a tangled look. According to her character, she would never accept this too expensive gift. This is why she expressed her opposition before the ceremony just now www.mplnovel.com There is nothing wrong. Ryan knew that Hermione might be entangled for a long time if he didn't make it clear at this time so he simply showed his directness. After all, the war has broken out, and only by increasing its strength can it survive this war. If you think this gift is too expensive, please try to make this gift play its value in the future. Okay, I I know. Hermione's eyes slowly changed from confused to tough. I will catch up with you, can you spare some time to train me? Ryan nodded. Of course, I will be officially trained for you recently to help you master these strengths as soon as possible. Well, we should go to dinner. Even if two consecutive meals do not appear in the cafeteria on the weekend. Somewhat strange, now we should go to the auditorium in order to attract too much attention. Ryan was still a little overwhelmed, and few people bored attention to others during the holidays, especially when couples forget to eat when they are dating. This is also very normal. No one noticed that Ryan and Hermione disappeared all day. The dinner was still very rich. At the dinner table, he took advantage of the other people's attention and put a French pigeon meat pie and tower into a space bag after releasing a simple material preservation magic. 
Bring it to your sister, only Hermione sitting on the side saw the scene. Yeah, the ingredients in this dish are not expensive, but it's too much trouble to make. The little one hasn't eaten and I want to give her some taste. The friendship of the girls sometimes builds quickly after the last meeting. The two had a few meetings, and now they are friends. Ryan thinks this is good. The kids just need to know more friends. Chapter 338, Scientific Wool. Well, this dish is really delicious. Don't look at Mr. Liu Ozen living in France, but he is a German. Now Alice has completely given up cooking after the alchemy and has been cooking in the laboratory all day. If not you the robot, it is estimated that now the father and daughter will directly use the nutrients in the laboratory to solve the problem of eating. Rose Crystal used her small knife and fork to taste the French pigeon meat pine tower brought by Ryan for her. By the way, she talked about the German diet. Ryan can only keep silent at this time, because the diet in Britain he is now still under the Germans, there is really not much to comment on. They are now sitting in the Wanji grocery store, and Xiaokin grows a table and two chairs. The two sat at the table face to face. Rose Crystal ate food elegantly and quickly, while Ryan sat across from him while drinking sugared milk while watching the puppet gobble. Well, I understand a little bit how Leo Zen felt when he was a father. Ryan thought while holding his cup. This was the first time this kind of special feeling had happened in the two worlds. The feeling of raising the next generation is really wonderful. Soon Rose Crystal ate up a whole dish. After picking up a napkin and wiping her mouth, she began reporting to Ryan on her recent work achievements. The first item was about the last booty. The loot seized in the vampire castle was divided into two at that time. Later, in order to express his gratitude to teacher Liu Zen for preaching and teaching, Ryan gave him most of his loot. However, although the quantity left is small, they are all fine. For example, Rose Crystal found a small box of silver ingots in Goblin Sterling Silver during the sorting process. With this, you can cast a weapon of the same level as the Gryffindor sword. In addition, there is a pile of precious blood and many extremely rare medicinal materials, such as the heart of a football dragon, and then the blood of the Rem Cow. These things are kept fresh by vampires with special techniques. These are rare treasures for every alchemist. As the person who now controls all of Ryan's wealth, Rose Crystal finally reports on Ryan's biggest piece of wealth now, the kingdom in the world of Song of Ice and Fire. The kingdom is now running smoothly. The modern structure has been refined through history, with enough personnel to maintain it. It is much more efficient than the simple feudal sub-feudal system in the Middle Ages. The major events reported are roughly the following. The Hand of the King on the Westeros continent, John Allen, has died and it is now taken over by the North Guardian Ed Stark. The messenger he sent took our clipper and asked the Milan Bank to borrow money. I rejected this proposal, Rose Crystal said. Let's not say that according to historical inertia the place will be a mess of porridge. Let's say that we are now in rapid development, and this large sum of money can be invested in anything. It's better to throw money into that bottomless hole. It is definitely much faster than the accumulation of wealth in the medieval country. Very good, you handled this matter well, Ryan praised. But you must be polite when you refuse, if you can't shirk it. You can provide a part of the funds, but you must ask them to take out enough collateral, such as Junlin. The wharf is pretty good, which is convenient for us to develop the market. Rose Crystal nodded and noted. Second, we killed a large group of pirates who tried to sneak into Melin. They had nearly 300 ships. The supporters behind Waterers, Ilya, Matares and Valantis, because we liberated the slave city state's behavior cut off the source of slaves in this city. What should we do next? Is there a really red temple there? How can it still attack us? Ryan asked his own question. Most human things still belong to humans. True Red doesn't have the patience to manage so many things as we do. Besides, True Red thinks that killing so many people is not good, and the temple forces can't control those who are blinded by money. The slave traders, especially the three city-states in the east, have almost no temples. This time, Many pirates were disguised by their navy. This is simple, block their ports against the Valantis navy. Then clean up the slave traders with the hands of the torch. Don't worry about other free trade city-states, they are not an entity anyway. In short, give them a lesson and let they join our trade circle. What about the other three city-states? Rose Crystal asked. The three slave city-states on the west side of the slave bay have always been cherishing our liberated slaves. This time we simply took over. Anyway, our people have always gritted their teeth at those slave city-states hoping to liberate their fellow citizens there. All food taxes are in place, and we can fight another battle to expand our power and control the entire slave bay. Ryan decided on the next strategy. Just have enough power to just run over. It was too much trouble to ignore them before, but if they start attacking, then they must hit them down, so that there will not be so many annoying guys in the future. This victory is due to technological superiority. After the electron tube was produced by Amethyst City Electronics Factory, scholars soon proposed the idea of using electromagnetic waves to search for enemies. Ryan was shocked by their brains when he heard the report of Rose Crystal. People who were still in the Middle Ages half a year ago, after mastering knowledge, actually proposed the idea of radar. It can be seen that knowledge can indeed change a lot of things. 
The ancients were just lack of knowledge, but it doesn't mean you're stupid. This is the case with the Merlin radar station that made great contributions this time. Ryan brought the past to provide some suggestions. The main design of the radar was all done by local people. For example, the chief designer is a priest from Amethyst City. Ryan found a magical place in the list, that is, the group of priests and Rose Crystal accounted for 60% of the list. My people know that I admire knowledge, so now even priests must pass exams for promotion. They don't need other jobs every day, so learning and doing learning become their daily routine, so that they appear in the list is normal. Rose Crystal explained this way. I still think you can change the church to the of science and technology. Ryan didn't know how to say this. It is conceivable that the 120 km radar detection range provided Mylan with a 7 hour warning time after which the more than 100 ships were easily sunk by more than 20 steam armored ships. The last is population migration. Rose Crystal turned the information to the last page. Our merchant ship also went to the north of the Great Wall to pick up a lot of savages. They are a very good addition to the population. They are willing to come. Lane remembers that the savages in the original book would have been reluctant to go to the southern part of the so-called kneeling people if they were not attacked by a ghost. Of course. That kind of polar climate is not suitable for people to survive at all. We don't have the feudal hierarchical system in the West, which actually fits their appetite, Rose Crystal explained. And they are very well managed, and the degree of observance of the rules is even higher than those of the so-called civilized people. It is necessary to know that in the harsh climate conditions, there is only a dead end to fail to follow the rules. Very good, we do our best to introduce savages. Ryan finally made a final decision, so that while introducing labor, it can also reduce the number of the last army of ghouls. Right www.mplnovel.com Isn't there any objection from the Night Watchmen? They didn't know it at all. Rose Crystal explained, after the radar was successfully developed, those ships had radars, which can completely avoid the fleet of Night Watchers in the East China Sea, not to mention the fact that the artificial boat technology is too bad to go to the sea, so the Night Watch people are just patrolling offshore. Our ships can bypass them as long as they go around the ocean. By the way, the dragon eggs are about to hatch. And then you have to go back and bring those dragon eggs over. After studying with a group of wizards, it is recommended that you better bring the dragon eggs to this world with higher magic concentration before hatching. The little dragon hatched in this way will have more room for growth in the future. Rose Crystal reminded after processing the government affairs, and she also took out a batch of magic materials collected recently. Now the world of the Song of Ice and Fire can already produce a part of low-level magic materials, but the speed of obtaining raw materials through trading, planting and gathering is still a bit slow. And as far as I know, they can't stop us from hiding their treasures. Dot why don't we just grab a hand but have to build forces that from scratch and pay so much resources and energy. I know many warehouses of forces are full of babies, in the cellar of King S Landing there are even a lot of keels. You're still too straightforward. That's quite the same as slaughtering the sheep and plucking the hair. It's gone after finishing it once. I'm fattening the sheep and even letting them multiply. Then I will always have will to stalk Ryan seriously taught Rose Crystal. I see. Rose Crystal slammed his face and raised his small face when he tilted his head for a moment. Today I learned another thing, thank you, brother. Chapter 339, Nightmare. Now Ryan will take some time every day to accompany Rose Crystal. This is the habit that he developed after returning from the world of Song of Ice and Fire. It may be an illusion, Ryan feels that Rose Crystal is now more and more like a human. A few days later, when Ryan had just finished the divination lesson and went downstairs, he heard from his classmates that Harry had a nightmare in his divination lesson that made his sky hurt. This made Ryan curious, because Voldemort was clearly resurrected at this time. So what does Harry's dream represent? Unexpectedly, after a while, Harry himself came to the door. When Ryan returned to the common room after dinner, he saw Ginny pulling Harry here, and at the same time said to Ryan, Ryan, Harry. He divined in the afternoon, asleep in class, and finally screamed with the scar on his head and woke up from the dream. Professor Trelawney said at the time that this was a sign. Harry seemed a little embarrassed, because he felt it was too much for him to have a nightmare to make everyone pay attention. However, under Ginny's tough request, he could only ask others. But Harry strongly disagreed that this was a trifle that troubled Dumbledore or Sirius. In desperation, Ginny could only come over and ask Ryan to ask. Ginny, I have something to tell you. Hermione made an excuse under Ryan's gesture and pulled Ginny away. Sure enough, after the girls left, Harry looked relieved. After all, it was a shame to be screamed by a dream, especially to tell the dream again in front of his girlfriend. Moreover, the dream was indeed strange, and he did not want Ginny to worry about him. After coming to a corner in the common room where no one was sitting, Lane asked in a gentle tone. Okay, Harry, could you tell me what you saw, maybe I can help how about you? Harry looked a little taut, and Ryan could only convince him from another angle. After all, both of us are players in the Hogwarts Tree Wizard Tournament. Although this tournament is not important to us now, it is naturally better to get good results, and the prerequisite for this is to adjust yourself to the best. Don't hide that thing in your heart. Okay, Harry was persuaded. I'm taking divination classes in the afternoon, but, 
I am asleep. He's a little embarrassed when it comes to this, understandable. Ryan smiled. As far as I know, the number of people sleeping in divination class is second only to Professor Bin's in the history of magic. Well, I had a dream when I fell asleep, Harry said. I think I dreamed of Voldemort. I heard his voice. It was the same as when he was resurrected that day. There was another big snake. They killed in a house full of things, and several people fell to the ground. I watched from the side, but I couldn't do anything. At last, the snake opened its big mouth and slammed down under my perspective. People, my scars hurt, and it hurts and wakes me up. That's it. Ryan waited a few seconds after Harry finished speaking and asked if he didn't continue. That's it. Harry nodded and confirmed. I just want to know why my scar hurts and I can feel like Voldemort's activity. When you were resurrected, that person used your blood, so I think it might be some kind of mysterious connection that connected you to him. Ryan explained in a very vague sentence that he felt he could never tell Harry now. It is Voldemort's crux. But because of this, this dream is not a trivial matter, you should tell Principal Dumbledore immediately. Looking at Harry somewhat reluctantly, Lane increased his tone. Principal Dumbledore has been trying to find the man recently but he has not gained much because he is as good at hiding as the viper. Now any clue is that the principle is very useful, including your dreams. You can't delay major events because of shyness or embarrassment. This slogan for 20 is very encouraging to people of Harry's age. After listening to this passage, his resistance disappeared. I'm going to the principle. After leaving Ryan, Harry left the common room. It seems that he is going to talk to Professor Dumbledore about this matter. How? Ginny and Hermione came over and asked when he saw Harry leave. It makes sense. He is now looking for Professor Dumbledore. I think the principal will be able to solve his problems. Lane comforted Ginny, who looked a little uneasy. That's good. Ginny looked relaxed at once. She grew up in the wizarding world, plus parents who are members of the Order of the Phoenix. So I heard a lot about Professor Dumbledore since I was a child, and now I finally let go when I knew that Harry was going to find Professor Dumbledore. After leaving the common room, Harry went straight to the principal's office. Although he didn't know the password of the principal's office, he just stood at the door of the office for a few seconds, and the monster automatically jumped aside. Harry hurried through the gap in the wall and stepped on the spiral stone staircase. The door closed behind him. The stairway slowly ascended automatically, leading him to a shiny oak door with brass knockers. Here, it seems that Ryan is telling the truth. I do have a mysterious connection with Voldemort and Professor Dumbledore is paying attention to it all. The automatically opened staircase of the principal's room made Harry think about it all at once, and then took what happened next confirmed his conjecture. The door opened when he put his hand on the knocker. Through the open door, Harry saw at first glance that Dumbledore was sitting in his large chair, looking at him with a smile on his face. Welcome you my child. What are you confused about coming here to find me? Question mark. Harry repeated what he had dreamed about again. Dumbledore's face gradually became more serious when he heard it and asked him a lot of details. Ryan said that it was probably the last time Voldemort was resurrected that my blood was used to create a mysterious connection between us. Harry finally told Dumbledore what Ryan said just now. Oh, yes, it is true. Sometimes the power contained in the blood can form a mysterious connection between the two wizards. Dumbledore paused after listening to this, and then expressed support for this view. Attitude. But you don't need to worry. www.mtlnovel.com Dumbledore comforted Harry who was worried. I think this is probably because Voldemort accidentally let you see one of his memories when he was emotional. Shards. After all, there are too many problems with his resurrection this time. Speaking of this, Dumbledore asked Harry to look at the memory in his meditation basin. Because Voldemort has now been resurrected, and letting Harry touch some of these things can also be seen as a preparation. There are trials about Bagman, Kakarov, Snape and even Batik Crouch. At the same time, Professor Dumbledore also told Harry that the people who were considered innocent here were never accused of participating in any black magic activities. Whether it was the spell that Voldemort tried to kill you when you were a child but failed, or the blood used in the ritual made you connected, so you don't have to be too nervous because of this matter, Dumbledore finally concluded. Under Dumbledore's explanation, Harry slowly adjusted his mood. When he opened the brass door of the principal's room, his mood had become as bright as the weather outside. Harry, Dumbledore suddenly called him. Please don't tell Neville's parents that Ara's parents were killed by Death Eater Bellatrix with the unforgivable curse of madness. It should be him. Come tell everyone, when he is willing to say. Okay, Professor. Harry said, turning to leave. And also, you will inform Ryan to let him come at 8 o'clock in the evening. Finally, I wish you a successful last game. Chapter 340, New Information. What did President Dumbledore ask me to do at night? At 8 o'clock in the evening, Ryan walked toward the principal's office in confusion. When I heard what Harry brought in the afternoon. I felt very strange, because Harry had nothing to do with his nightmare. In this case, the principal's office was suddenly called wrong. Cockroach bile. After reading the export order, Ryan smoothly entered the principal's office. Good evening. Professor Dumbledore. Lane greeted Principal Dumbledore sitting behind the large golden desk. Good night, Ryan. Dumbledore said hello after seeing Ryan entering the door, 
and then put a part of his memory into the churning meditation basin. This is Harry's memory of seeing me and my memory of just going out to work this afternoon. You can take a look. Lay nodded, then put his head into the meditation basin. The first memory was that Harry narrated his dream in the afternoon. It was just a little more detail than when he narrated Ryan. There were not many important points to pay attention to. What is important is the second memory. In this memory, Dumbledore came to a large house full of boxes. This house does not have any windows and is a bit like an underground warehouse. But what made Ryan feel abnormal was that the ground was covered with white cloth, and there were people walking around in real uniforms. Kingsley, what the happened? Dumbledore walked over to ask a black wizard at this time. It's terrible. The wizard called Kingsley replied. Normally our manpower does not come to knock down Alley. But we have only been ordered to patrol here on a recent order. This afternoon, Percy Weasley's patrol patrolled the door of the poison spirit and suddenly found that it should be open. The door was closed today, and even the back of the window was covered with a layer of cloth. Percy Weasley who led the team felt wrong and knocked on the door. But no one responded. The incident was reported in the ministry. At this point, Kingsley came over and whispered, You told us to pay attention the abnormality of the potion distribution point. After receiving this news, I brought Myra over to check, and I saw this scene now. How much is the loss of people? Dumbledore asked, looking at the white cloth on the floor. One buddy died at the front desk, the boss, the other buddy and two guards all died in the warehouse. It was a fatal blow to the death spell. At this point, Kingsley showed a slightly horrified expression. The scene also a trace of a large snake crawling was found, and the appraiser of the shop was missing. Dumbledore, it would not be that. That's the one you think, that's what I told you to face when I called you. Dumbledore said seriously, how much are the items lost? One third of the pharmacy is the most precious batch. This store is actually a drug distribution center in the British underground market, so we have not yet counted the specific data. Boss, we have a discovery. It was an error who suddenly called Kingsley. As Dumbledore's footsteps came to the end of the warehouse, the boxes stacked there were a little different and there were no ash on the middle boxes. Dumbledore waved his wand, the box moved away, revealing a fireplace hidden behind. Anna waved in the fireplace with a quirky silver instrument, and when it was taken out, the previously transparent crystal inlaid in the middle of the instrument turned red. An illegal international flyaway fireplace was found. The error turned to Dumbledore and Kingsley. Someone used this fireplace before to go abroad. Hurry and see where that person is going. Kingsley urged the error, but Dumbledore did not have much hope, but just stood there quietly. Sure enough, after using the instrument for a while, the error said with frustration, the other party completely messed up his own traces of magic, and can only confirm that he left from Britain. Seeing this memory ended, Ryan came out of the meditation basin. Dumbledore was sitting behind the desk, tapping on the table with his index finger. Seeing Ryan finished watching, he stopped tapping. Harry and Voldemort are in contact, what do you think this matter represents? I want you to tell the truth, not to comfort Harry. Dumbledore asked, this is not a simple nightmare. Ryan first defined. One person can see what another person is doing, most likely the soul between them. The pure blood does not cause this effect, according to based on the knowledge I have obtained before, I speculate that Harry may have accidentally obtained a part of the broken soul of the person that night when his parents were killed. Or simply put, Harry was the horcrux that the person made in the accident. His snake tongue also proves this. The two people in the office fell silent, and Dumbledore rubbed his temples and asked, as I expected. I guess that you might have seen a lot of things before. The only thing I didn't expect was that you had already analyzed this step. From the performance of your alchemy in the registration of the Tree Wizard Tournament, I can see that it is very different from the current popular alchemy, and your level is not low. So I want to ask you if there is a way to solve the problem of Harry. There is no good way for the time being. Ryan thought for a moment and said, if there is hope for separating that person's soul fragments from the dead, such as the last ring. This soul fragmentation that accompanied Harry's growth to today the difficulty is far greater than stripping from the dead. I have several ways to destroy the soul fragment of the person on Harry. But there is no way to keep Harry safe. You said, for the time being. Dumbledore extracted a keyword from Ryan's pile of answers. After all, this operation requires a strong reserve of magic and knowledge, but I have only been exposed to magic for up to four years now and the accumulation is not enough compared with most wizards www.mtlnovel.com so I can only say that I do not, but it does not mean that the knowledge I have mastered cannot go on. Lane started to tell a fact. That's right. Dumbledore smiled at the words. Anyway, Voldemort has escaped from the UK. Of course he will definitely come back, but it will be a while before he solves his problems. We have enough time to do something for now. At this time, the portrait of Fine Yars suddenly appeared on the canvas, and then a voice rang out. Dumbledore. Fudge refused to disclose the details of the case of turning to the lane, and hoped to handle the case as a simple black wizard. I can accept not mentioning the criminal's possible name, but I must show that this is a black wizard. Let everyone be vigilant, Dumbledore said to the portrait on the wall. Okay, I'll run again. But I guess Fudge wants to cover this matter. Fine Yars shrugged helplessly and disappeared. We always look like this, when confronted with enemies, we still have to stumble. Dumbledore complained a little, 
and quickly adjusted his mind. Okay, I know. If you have any new progress, you can directly notify me. My door here is open to you at any time. Heard this, Ryan quickly got up and said goodbye. When he was about to go out, Dumbledore suddenly asked, you wouldn't make Horcruxes, would you? Of course, I have a better way on the road to immortality. Why should I choose this hugely troublesome method? Ryan finally replied when he left the office. Chapter 341, Last One Game. Entering June, the atmosphere in the castle becomes nervous and excited again. Everyone is looking forward to the last competition to be held one week before the holiday. Hermione's exam will end on the third project. They should have taken the time to review, but they spent a lot of energy to help Ryan and Harry prepare especially to help Harry. This will not delay your exams? Harry asked with some embarrassment. Because other people have to take exams, it really seems to be a bit of a delay to study with him all day. No, Ryan and Hermione are helping me and my brother make up lessons every day when you practice alone. I think I am reviewing this semester better than last semester. Ginny wiped Harry's forehead with a handkerchief can't said on the side. It's been said that since Harry and Ginny fell in love, Ginny seemed to be more stable all at once and felt quite like a good wife and mother. No wonder Harry originally chose Ginny in the end, even ignoring her rich love history. Ginny is right, said Ron, who stopped Small B in the air with obstacles on the side. I actually think that this way of practicing with you plus Ryan's supplementary lessons made me study more solidly this year. Now, at least after facing Voldemort, Harry's mentality was much smoother than before, which also made his practice seem quite effective. Professor McGonagall always met Lane with five of them practicing in the school. As the only dean of the Warriors Academy, she provided a very important help for the five, allowing them to use the morphing classroom during lunchtime. Harry quickly mastered many new spells, such as the obstacle spell, which can block the attackers, the smash spell, which can blow up solid obstacles, and the directional spell that Hermione discovered and handed to him, which can make as the wand is pointing to the north, so he can judge the direction in the maze. But he hasn't fully mastered the iron armor spell. This spell can temporarily form an invisible solid wall around him. Unfortunately, when he was fighting with Lane, Lane caught the loophole and gave him a cartilage curse. Harry's right arm fell on the spot and dropped his wand on the ground. Thanks to the two days of practice, he responded in time to avoid Ryan's next sting. But his right arm was not connected until after the training. Ginny looked a little bit sad, but it was all Harry asked. He hoped Ryan could train him strictly according to the actual combat standards because he knew that these were useful in the resurrection of Voldemort. Warriors from other schools are also learning the magic spells that may be used in the last game. Only Ryan still spends a lot of time every day studying alchemy and magic from the world of the Song of Ice and Fire. The magic of the world of the Song of Ice and Fire is indeed a little weak due to the problem of the extraordinary power of the entire world. The casting process is also rough because of the small number of masters of magic and too few researchers. But there is a lot of unique knowledge that is very valuable. Ryan has recently tried to integrate these things into his own spellcasting system. On the day of the game, Gryffindor was very lively on the breakfast table. A screaming owl sent Hermione the morning prophet daily as usual. She opened the newspaper, glanced at the front page, and a sip of pumpkin juice choked into her throat. So, Ryan asked, patting her back gently. Hermione coughed and passed the newspaper. Ryan saw the front page of the newspaper read. Harry Potter was upset and emotionally dangerous. The boy who defeated the mysterious man is emotionally unstable and may be quite dangerous. Recently, there is surprising evidence that reveals the strange behavior of Harry Potter, making people doubt whether he is suitable for such a difficult competition as the True Wizard Tournament, or even suitable for attending school at Hogwarts. Let me see, invited reporter Rita Skeet reports. This guy can't spit out any good words. Harry, you shouldn't be affected by what the old woman said. It's okay. I'll pass through smoothly. Harry sitting on the side folded the newspaper and said very calmly, after going through life and death, Harry did grow a lot. If something like this happened before, it would never be so calm. Did that guy put his hand into the school again? Thinking of Ryan whispering something in Hermione's ear, Hermione's expression on the face began to be shocked, but then quickly recovered and nodded. While eating breakfast, the others left one after another to take the exam. Ryan and Harry are preparing to use the last opportunity to review and prepare together in the library. Professor McGonagall came to them along the Gryffindor table. You two, their warriors assemble in the conference room next to the auditorium after breakfast, she said. But the game only started at night. Harry accidentally sprinkled scrambled eggs on his body. He thought he remembered the wrong time. I know, Potter. Professor McGonagall said, warriors' relatives are invited to watch the finals, you can meet. By the way, you also have relatives from Ryan. Lane looked dazed. He didn't think the school would invite his mull parents to come here to watch him play. So who is it this time? After eating. Several other warriors went to the meeting room, and Ryan followed. As soon as he entered the door, he saw Victor Crumb speaking fast Bulgarian with his dark-haired parents in the corner of the house, and he inherited his father's eagle nose. Harry and Sirius stood beside the fireplace and said something.
that watching Sirius looked like he was telling him to pay attention. Both French families stood at the other end of the meeting room, talking in French. Lane was surprised to see Mrs. Weasley and Bill standing in front of the fireplace. www.mtlnovel.com looked at him with a smile. I didn't expect it, Mrs. Weasley said enthusiastically. I guess they may not allow your parents to come to school, but you have helped us so much. It is too bad to leave you alone on the field, so we came over. She hugged Ryan. Nice to see you again. Bill smiled and shook Ryan's hand. I heard Charlie say you defeated the dragon with alchemy. That's amazing. Lane noticed Fleur. Draghoy looked at Bill with interest over his mother's shoulder. It can be seen that she has no objection to long hair and earrings with fangs. Really, thank you very much. Lane expressed his heartfelt thanks to the Weasley family. The members of this family are indeed the most suitable group of friends. After merging with Sirius and Harry, they began to wander around the campus. Mrs. Weasley and Sirius also told a lot of interesting things about them. When eating at noon, the Weasley children were very happy to see their mother appearing on the table. But Ron was unlucky. When Mrs. Weasley asked about the exam, he said bluntly, I can't remember the names of all those rebellious goblins, so I made up a few, it doesn't matter. Dot. In the afternoon, relatives of these warriors went to Hogsmeade under the hello of Sirius, and Ryan helped Harry use the last moment to quickly go through what he had learned. The others seemed to have prepared, and it was not until the dinner that the figures of the six warriors appeared again in the auditorium. Chapter 342, Maze After dinner, Ryan and Harry returned to the auditorium. Ludo Bagman and Connolly Fudge sat at the staff table. Bagman looked happy, but Connolly Fudge, who was sitting next to Mrs. Maxim, was sullen and said nothing. Due to the accident before Crouch, the judge of the last game was replaced by the Minister of Magic Connolly Fudge. It's just that because of the recent events, his relationship with Dumbledore has reached an impasse, and Lane can see the two people sitting side by side, but they only talk to other people. The dinner was richer than usual, and Ryan and Harry ate a lot. When the enchanted ceiling changed from blue to dark purple twilight, Dumbledore stood up at the faculty's desk, and everyone calmed down. Ladies and gentlemen, in another five minutes, I will invite everyone to the Quidditch Stadium to watch the final event of the Drill Wizard Tournament. Now I invite the Warriors and Mr. Bagman to the stadium. Ryan and Harry stood up. The Gryffindor students applauded for them, and the Weasleys and Hermione wished them both good luck. Six players from three schools walked out of the auditorium together with applause. In the middle, Bagman also pulled Harry to say a few words. But now it seems that his gambling is unlikely to make money. They walked into the Quidditch Stadium, which has become completely unrecognizable here. A hedge twenty feet high encircled the edge of the site. There was a gap in front of them, and that was the entrance to this big maze. The passage inside is black and scary. Five minutes later, people started to enter the stands. Hundreds of students fished into the seat, and the air was full of excitement and mixed footsteps. The sky is now clear, dark blue, and stars are starting to appear. Professor Hagrid, Moody, Professor McGonagall and Professor Flitwick entered the stadium and approached Bagman and several warriors. Their hats are decorated with glittering red stars, except Hagrid, whose red star is behind the thick fleece vest. We will be patrolling outside the maze. Professor McDonagall said to the warriors, If you encounter difficulties and want to be rescued, you will fire red sparks into the sky. We will have someone to help you. Do you understand? Their warriors nodded together. Okay, let's go. Bagman happily said to the four patrol members. Six people walked away in different directions and scattered around the maze. At this time, Bagman pointed his wand at his throat and pronounced various voice, so his magically amplified voice echoed from the stands. Ladies and gentlemen, the last game of the True Wizard Tournament is about to begin. Let me talk about the order of play, based on their previous points. The order of entering the venue is Harry Potter, Ryan Liang, Flund, Mercule, Wickedrum, Diane Dupont, Gustav Anderson. Now, Harry, listen to my whistle. Bagman said, 32. With a short whistle, Harry hurried into the maze. Five minutes later, the second whistle sounded. Lion also plunged into the maze. The tall hedge cast a dark shadow on the trail. I wonder if the hedge was high and dense, or because of the magic. As soon as Ryan entered the maze, the audience's voice could not be heard. Ryan used the hand holding his wand to draw a few Niven symbols in the air and inject magic. Soon, a golden symbol like an eye floated on top of Ryan's head and emitted infrared light to the surroundings. At the same time, Ryan also activated the eagle eye in the left eye, and looked at everything in the darkness around him through the reflection of infrared light from the surrounding objects. This spell is to study the tactics analyzed by fluorescent flashing combined with alchemy. The principle is equivalent to the first generation of active infrared night vision. When walking in the dark, it is at least a bit more concealed than fluorescent flashes, and it is a work that combines magic and mole technology research. We don't know what kind of magic the Ryan player used, but obviously he can see everything in the dark now, Bagman explained. Before the departure, each player was placed with special surveillance magic. At the same time, a huge light screen was formed on the periphery of the competition area against the auditorium to allow the audience to see what the players did. This is the lesson learned from the last game. Since this aspect was not expected in the last game, 
everyone can only stare at the lake and the forest in the cold wind. So in this game, the organizers adopted screen and tracking shooting methods to make up for the previous shortcomings. The next step was to recognize their way. Lion put the wand on his palm and said softly to him, show me the way. The wand pointed towards the north. Ryan knew that the end point was his southeast direction, so he turned right in the general direction. As soon as he turned to the right lane, Ryan saw a group of Cornwall elves jamming on the road. These little guys are not lethal but extremely annoying. After seeing them, Lane pointed a wand at a piece on the hedge and said, grow quickly. Flying branches soon formed a large net, and Ryan directed the large net to suddenly jump out of the hedge to cover most of the Cornwall elves. Then he turned the big net into a cage and completely trapped the group of Cornwall elves on the road. In this way, the few remaining fish in the net also fled in fear, and Lane passed the road smoothly. At the same time, the sixth whistle sounded indicating that all the players had entered the maze. After solving two blocking red hats with a coma spell, Lane heard the sound of fighting in front of him. He walked to the corner against the hedge first, then quietly turned out a reflective mirror on the other side of the road. Through the mirror, he saw two people attack each other with magic spells on the road. From the clothes and hair color, it can be seen that the silver-haired girl is the hibiscus of Booth Button, and the other is Gustav of Deem Strand. After watching it for a while, Ryan found that the difference between the backup candidate and the genuine one was still very big. Gustav has been completely suppressed by Furong at this time. www.mtlnovel.com Especially Furong also mastered some kind of mind control spells, which caused Gustav to be delayed or chaotic during battle. Although the time of each problem is short and can be corrected quickly, these problems can be enough to make Gustav lose all resistance in a short period of time when the strength is not comprehensive enough. After a barrier spell from Furong, Gustav was dull again. Taking this opportunity, Furong sees the opportunity to release a soft leg curse, just hitting his leg from a place where he had no time to protect. Gustav fell to his knees in an instant. This change also caused Gustav to panic, and Furong took advantage of the situation to initiate control again. Under confusion Gustav directly hit the trick and stood blankly. Slap. After taking a coma spell from Furong with his face, Gustav fell to the ground and was gloriously out of the game. Furong sent him a red sparkle by the way to avoid him being eaten by the monsters in the maze. At this moment, a red light shot from the other direction, and a flame shield popped out of Furong to block the blow. Grum, Ryan recognized the person coming from a distance this time. He should have wanted to take a sneak attack just now, but he didn't expect Furong to use a trigger-type protective spell to block this determined blow. But from the face of Furong, this protective method should not be easy to get out and it can even be said that this is her whole card. Hurry up, Ryan thought in silence, but at this time Crumb suddenly turned his head to look at the small mirror that Ryan had transformed. Chapter 343, Trophy. Oops, Ryan knew he was exposed when Crumb looked over. He thought of Crumb as a world-class Quidditch-looking player at this time. He wanted this kind of bright light, more sensitive than normal people. Sure enough, he had just left the hiding place and saw a blue flame hitting him in front of him through the hedge. Crumb seemed to want to put the uncertainties hiding in the dark on the bright side first. Ryan didn't want to join this kind of melee at this time. He had intended to go back and find another way. As a result, a behemoth removed from the shadow made him change his mind. How did Hage feed the fried snail so big, Gingler or Expansion Mantra? An adult fried snail appeared in front of him. More than three meters long, it looks like a giant scorpion. Its long sting needle rolls on its back and there is a layer of green liquid on the sting needle. The thick armor even shone with a metallic glow. Natural transformation. Ryan shouted with his wand at the grass under the belly of the snail. The weeds quickly entangled together, forming something like a spring, and then snapped up. The fried snail was directly ejected at the intersection, and Crom and Furong on the road subconsciously released magic to this rushing guy, but the magical power released between the two haste is not enough the thick carapace on the body of the snail flicked off. However, these attacks also angered the snail and it crawled towards the two men aggressively. Ryan took the opportunity to run Z-shaped in front of them, leaving several traces of enchantments on the ground and hedges behind him. Furong and Crum could only watch Ryan go through the snail. Another Hogwarts player used an ingenious method to break through the siege of players from two other schools. Bagman began to comment on the big screen. Of course, Bagman only had Harry in his eyes, so Ryan didn't even report his name here, but replaced it with another player from Hogwarts. He actually ignored his elder brother. In the auditorium outside, Rose Crystal hit her fist angrily under Hermione's robe. Okay, don't be angry. Not everyone in this world can be seen accurately. Hermione touched the puppet. And even if he has no vision, it will not affect the performance of Lane on the field. It's amazing. That is, of course, my elder brother is the best. Rose Crystal raised her face slightly proudly. But Ryan is temporarily unaware of what is happening outside. He is now walking in a tunnel. The tunnel that was being dug up was a little damp and small, and what was even worse was that after walking in the tunnel for several minutes, he found a stone door in front of it. Look up, the stone door is a relatively simple Sudoku, as long as you complete this thing, 
the stone door will open. The only difference from the Sudoku of Muz is that the challenger needs to perceive the magical intensity on each grid, and then fill in the numbers in the space after imitating the magical intensity on the grid. It is very simple to imitate the magical intensity. Ryan feels that any third grader at Hogwarts can do it. From this reasoning, we can see that the real difficulty of this question is to fill in Sudoku. It seems that the first year Hermione said at the last level that many wizards are not good at reasoning. This is actually true. Two minutes later Ryan filled all the vacancies above, and the stone door slid sideways, revealing a wide road. But as soon as he came out, he heard a movement behind him, a subconscious wave of his wand. Armor bodyguard. Sure enough, a red light came flying behind him rubbing the magical protective layer and flying diagonally towards the sky. Fallen, Ryan fired a coma at the place where the curse flew as he attacked him, and then turned to face the place where the attack was just launched. But the back was empty, but Ryan saw a humanoid thing hiding in the hedge in the infrared vision of his left eye. It appears that someone quickly dug a groove in the wood and hid it in an attempt to ambush someone passing by. What about people? Ryan looked around pretending, but the wand pointed quietly at the guy hiding in the hedge. Explode flames. Horror howl. Ryan saw a layer of ripples suddenly appearing in the air when he threw a light blue fireball. When the guy was hiding in the trees, he should have been holding a big move, trying solve the problem in one go. This is, soul attacks magic. Lane felt something seemed to be pounding his soul. Suddenly thought that Distrom would teach black magic, and this kind of use of negative spiritual power is the standard black magic. Although there is a way in which the life magic at hand does not need to use negative spiritual power to promote the effect. It is better than this, but unfortunately because the effect is too good, it cannot even be used publicly. Ryan had recognized that the guy on the opposite side who was desperately fighting the flames was Gustav from Deemstrom, but his spell was a little less powerful, and Ryan's soul naturally formed a layer of red the thin film blocked all attacks that attacked his own soul. If someone could see Ryan's soul at this time, he could see countless mysterious runes on the red film outside Ryan's soul. Stunned. Ryan stunned Gustav who was so painful that some parts of his body were burned and burned. The magic was only a simple elemental magic, so his injury only needed to go out soon. Ken Growell, looking at Gustav, who had all the scorched trousers on the ground, Ryan shook his head sympathetically, and then made a red spark with magic to let the rescuers outside rescue this unlucky egg after a corner. Lane knew that he was close to the center of the maze, but a bird snake was blocking the road. Although this snake is only four or five meters long, its maneuverability is enough to block the entire road. According to the introduction in the Monster Book of Monsters, this snake will attack all surrounding creatures while protecting their eggs. I don't know which level is designed by the wicked ghost. The bird and snake's nest was placed in the middle of the road. Ryan saw that there were several silver eggs in the nest. It can only be so. Lane thought out his hand, and then silently said in his heart, natural comfort. The outstretched hand began to emit a vivid emerald green light. The bird snake, which had already straightened its upper body and was about to attack, sensed the natural power contained in the light and then calmed down. Then, the eggs surrounding the nest coiled up and did not move. Lean took advantage of this opportunity to bypass the snake nest against the hedge, in front of a fork in the road. Ryan judged his position and went straight to the left. He soon saw the light. The top three cups shone with a tempting light on the base 100 meters away. Ryan ran to the trophy while scanning the surrounding environment. The flames are blazing. A string of bright flames radiated from the wand, and a large pile of vines on the ground receded to the surroundings, shrinking away from the light and warmth. It's never going to be so smooth when I can see hope. Ryan thought of running over the place where he had piled up vines. I'm here. Chapter 344, Win the Championship. The sky was completely dark at this time, and Ryan ran on the way to the trophy and the hedges on both sides quickly retreated. Under the effect of light work, he successfully stood in front of the trophy in less than ten seconds. Lean smiled and grabbed the handle of the trophy, before his eyes seemed to see a pocket full of gingy along. The feeling that you can't spend money is too bad. Even if he has the wealth of a warehouse in other worlds, he can't use it in this world. Even when investing in twins previously relied on real estate and technology, the money they earned was also invested in reproduction so that there was not much cash on them. The 1,000 gallons that I can get this time can really solve the problem. The trophy is still a door key, but this time it was made and placed by President Dumbledore personally, no problem. As soon as Ryan was transferred away, he saw Furong just turned from another intersection, and when Ryan's hand disappeared on the trophy handle, an extremely disappointed expression appeared on his face. After a while, Ryan appeared in the open space facing the auditorium. The people in the audience watched him as he held the trophy and immediately gave cheers and applause, especially the Hogwarts students who had the absolute number advantage vigorously waved the flag of the school in their hands and the red flag of Gryffindor College. Now, our champion of the top three has been selected. Bagman's loud voice echoed over the venue. Let's cheer for him. At this time, under the guidance of Ryan, he placed the trophy on a platform on the open ground, and then followed Madame Pomfrey to a temporary tent behind the platform. On the way, 
He also gained 10 offset points. Are you okay? Madame Pomfrey said nervously. I saw on the screen that you faced the horror of fear without offending. Do you feel dizzy and sick now? I didn't agree with other schools. Those dangerous black magic. But Albus has to say what Yunyan agrees with Deemstrong for international cooperation. Madame Pomfrey didn't stop her hand when she was talking. She asked Ryan to sit on a dentist's chair and then pulled out a bottle of blue potion-like liquid ice to try and let Ryan drink it. Mrs. Pomfrey, I really didn't hurt a bit. Ryan tried to explain to the school doctor that she really didn't need the drug, but unfortunately Mrs. Pomfrey didn't believe that Ryan took a black magic without protection. It was not affected. Even if you are not injured, I think this bottle of medicine will also be useful to you. You can calm down and make you nervous for a whole school year. Madame Pomfrey explained this way. In desperation, Lane could only swallow the bottle of medicine. Fortunately, there are some differences in the taste of this bottle of medicine and Madame Pomfrey's before, and it is not that bad. It tastes like fortified mint herbal tea. Ryan felt that there was an ice line flowing directly from his mouth to his stomach and then spreading all over his body. Then the brain felt like he was soaking in the ice water, and the slight tiredness disappeared. Don't think about using this thing at ordinary times. Once you use this medicine more, you will lose the feelings you should normally have. As Ryan stared at the empty bottle in her hand, Mrs. Pomfrey immediately warned. You take a break now and I will call you back later. There will be an award ceremony for you at the dinner. After a while, other contestants who were still in the labyrinth came in one after another. Furong was the first to walk in, but her face was all frustrated. It is also understandable that losing just one step away from victory is more difficult than others to accept. Next came Crum and Diane, another girl from Barton, both of whom had some injuries. When Mrs. Pomfrey complained, Ryan learned that the two of them had learned that the game was over during the fight. The last one to walk in was Harry. He looked extremely embarrassed. His body was dirty, and his hair was also mixed with branches and blades of grass. However, he was very excited after seeing Ryan, and was very happy that Ryan won the championship and won glory for the school. Too bad luck, I encountered a siege of three fried snails on the road, and ran in the wrong direction. Harry showed a depressed expression. As a result, when you got the trophy, I was still in a circle outside the maze. After waiting for more than half an hour, Mrs. Pomfrey informed them that they could go to the auditorium. The golden door across the auditorium. Lane, can hear the noise of everyone in the auditorium. It seems that the students have been waiting here in advance. Waited a few minutes, the door opened violently, and Dumbledore's voice came from inside. Now, please ask our warriors to stand on the stage. Six people walked up the stage along the passageway in the center of the auditorium, and the students of the three schools sitting at the four long tables all endeavored to applaud and cheer. Ryan saw that there was another bagman missing from the judges on the stage. This should be the way to revenge for fear of goblins after losing all the light. Even such a good position in the Ministry of Magic is not needed. It can be seen that gambling is really untouchable. It is well known that the true wizard tournament is to promote the friendship between me and the wizards. When the six of them stood on the stage, Fudge began to publish his long speech. Ryan could see the students underneath with helpless faces. Fuji finally finished reading all the prepared speeches. He raised his head and said aloud, let me award the winner of the top three competition. Finally finished. Ryan took a breath and then walked to him in front of Fudge. Congratulations on bringing honor to the wizarding world of England. Fuji patted Ryan's arm after handing the trophy in his hand to Ryan. Then, at the request of the reporter below, Ryan raised the trophy for them to take pictures. Then I took photos with a large number of people, such as Fudge and then with several principals and other players. Just as the photo session came to an end, Fuji stood in the middle of the stage and wanted to say something. At this moment, two owls suddenly flew in from the skylight in the auditorium. At the same time, the letter in the paw was thrown to the principal Dumbledore and Minister Fudge on the table www.mtlnovel.com The letter sent suddenly at this time was not normal. Fudge opened the letter, and Ryan, who was standing behind him, crossed him looked up at the letter. At the same time, Several professors gathered around President Dumbledore to read the letter in his hand. The following classmates began to whisper and whispered, a buzzing sounded. Because of the cover of several Ministry of Magic officials, Ryan did not see the full text of the letter. But Azkaban, jailbreak, and other words seen through the gap made him feel a little stunned. It seems that this is a big deal. Sure enough, Fuji's speech became very simple. After speaking five or six sentences, he handed a pocket containing gold coins to Ryan, and then left with the staff of the Ministry of Magic. The awards ceremony was raging. After standing on the table for a while, Dumbledore announced that everyone could disband and go back to rest. It's just that he left Ryan and Harry behind. Professor, what are you doing with us? Harry asked directly. Bad news. Dumbledore glanced down at the students who were leaving and whispered to Ryan and Harry. Voldemort suddenly attacked Azkaban while taking the opportunity of most people to Hogwarts today. There may be a part of Dementors being drawn by him. It is now certain that someone has escaped from prison. But the specific number of prisoners and the list of personnel are still under statistics for the time being. No wonder Fuji just left so hurriedly, 
and several professors looked ugly after reading this letter. This means that after Voldemort left Britain last time, he recovered some strength in a short time, and now he is back. It seems that the magic world will soon be in chaos. Chapter 345, Shadow of War. Then we should Ryan asked, but he made a quiet gesture before he finished speaking. Of course I don't need you to rush to the front line, at least not before our old people die. Dumbledore said some cruel words in a calm tone. It's just that as a party that has been involved in this matter, I think you need to know this and be mentally prepared. After saying this, Dumbledore changed his tone again and said, of course, we will still live even in a brutal war. Enjoying a happy life is also a beneficial response to those evil forces. At least today on this championship day, I think you still need to celebrate with your classmates. You should return to the common room now. Dumbledore went to the office with McGonagall, Moody and Snape after sending the two of them away. It seems that he asked the members of the Phoenix Society to discuss the next move. On the way back to the common room, Harry looked a little confused. Of course because he participated in the competition was completely pitted by others, not voluntary participation. So this confusion is not because of losing the game, but thinking about Voldemort. Ryan, what did Voldemort do next? Harry asked with courage. I don't know. Ryan shook his head. He was telling the truth. Now that the story has changed dramatically, the future is once again shrouded in a mist. He really didn't know what Voldemort's next move was. It's nothing more than gaining power, pulling away the stray dogs and finally gaining the right to dominate the world. All villains are like this. Speaking of which, Ryan stopped and looked at Harry's green eyes and said, but it's always time to come, and we will accept it when he come. Harry, try to improve yourself and be prepared. Don't let the mysterious man occupy your entire life. Oh, every time I listen to you, I always feel like you are an elder after listening to Ryan's persuasion. Harry looked better. There was even a joke. But you are right, it doesn't make much sense to worry too much. I will try to adjust myself as much as possible. The public lounge really prepared a grand platoon party, and everyone went to bed until 1 or 2 in the morning. Fortunately, the exam is over, and everyone has enough time to sleep the next day. However, the joyous atmosphere was broken the next day. At breakfast, the newspaper was thrown on everyone's head by the owl. The expression of everyone who opened the newspaper became serious. Ryan unfolded the newspaper he subscribed to and saw that the front page of the Prophet S. Daly was filled with ten black and white photos. The faces of nine witches and a witch, some were silently laughing, some arrogantly tapped with their fingers frame. Each photo has a name and the crime of being imprisoned in his cabin. Navi, are you okay? Ryan suddenly found that the body of Neville sitting next to him began to tremble, and he turned his eyes to the photo of the only witch in the newspaper. The witch in this photo has long matted black hair, and a thin, contemptuous smile emerges on his thin lips. It can be seen that she inherited the handsome appearance of the black family, but the long-term Azkaban career and mental problems caused by the almost crazy worship of Voldemort have taken away most of her beauty. Is accompanied by a line of words, Bellatrix Lestrange, torture and torture of Frank and Alice Longbottom, leading to permanent disability. Ryan just patted Neville's shoulder at this time, he knew that what he said was pale at this time. I can only hope that Neville can get out of here smoothly. After eating, Ryan ran to the garbage warehouse with the request room where Hermione was already waiting for him. As soon as he entered the door, Hermione took today's newspaper and asked, is that the person doing it? Yes, but this is also good news. Lane told Hermione the results she had just thought about on her way, making her feel incomprehensible. Good news? Ten dangerous Death Eaters escaped. Do you think this is good news? Of course. Ryan analyzed. We all know that there were not many Death Eaters in the past but the possibility of being imprisoned in Azkaban was also less than one-third. It should be more convenient. I suspect that he risked running to Azkaban to save people, which means that he has not solved his problems, so he dare not find those who may not be reliable outside. This also shows from the side that he will be lurking for a period of time during this period, and will not appear in people's sight until he is completely prepared. This kind of analysis seems to make sense. Well, what did you do to let me come here today? Hermione felt a little strange that Ryan asked her to come to this place. Help you get a bodyguard. Ryan took Hermione to the monster specimen. I watched this monster before and found that the person who made the specimen handled it very well that year, and this stuff has not been used for a hundred or two hundred years. So I want to transform it into an alchemy puppet, so that when you fight there is something that can help you block the spell. Do you have an alchemy puppet? Hermione asked, looking at the monster. Yes, I made it with a monster I found. After that, Ryan took out the two slab-sized basalt death claw puppets and dropped them on the ground. Soon two monsters with metallic luster appeared in front of them. True ugly Hermione made an assessment after a glance. But I can see that this is for war preparation. It doesn't matter whether it looks good or not. I really hope to see you give me a gift later. This puppet is definitely not the same as mine. My puppet is more inclined to attack, 
and if the puppet is made with giant monsters, it is more defensive. This really suits me www.mtlnovel.com Hermione nodded with a smile. With this next time I should not drag your hind legs. I look forward to fighting with you side by side, Ryan said with a smile, and then he started the renovation project. After laying down the entire specimen, Lane carefully examined the specimen. Because the internal organs of the monster were already hollowed out when the specimen was made, Ryan simply filled the gap in the specimen with a tall nut and combined two things with runes to bring out some of the plant characteristics for the monster. After that, Ryan used some magic inks made from several plants and leaves to draw runes on the monster, and at the same time inlaid some sunstones with runes on each body part of the monster and linked these rune gems with a modified steel vine. Form a whole magic circle. In every step, Ryan asked Hermione to input magic power to these things, making these energy circulation structures more convenient for her to operate. Finally, Half an hour before dinner, a new puppet was made. After dropping a drop of blood on a sunny gemstone, Hermione mounted the gemstone on the puppet's left chest and closed the Valeria steel lid with silver runes. Recycle. Hermione pronounced the code word in advanced Valeria. The puppet quickly shrunk and finally turned into a grey monster with the same palm size. The stone carving looks very abstract, just like a defective piece carved by a novice. Thank you, Hermione said after receiving the stone sculpture in her bracelet. In this shadow. I think it will come in handy soon. Chapter 346, Status Quo Now I plan to use this bonus to invest in our store. After we have this money, we can officially open it, instead of only selling goods by mail as we do now. Ryan said to the Weasley twins sitting opposite by the end of the week. The excitement of the game and the restlessness caused by the Death Eaters jailbreak had gradually calmed down. Ryan found the twins after eating in the morning and said his plan. It doesn't need all and 800 gallons is enough. Fred said that he was in charge of accounting recently, knowing how much money is needed to get this store officially launched. His voice just fell, and George continued to say next, but we should redivide the shares. You pay more and help our family a lot. We can't take advantage of you. After a while, Ryan and the twins redivided their shares. Among them, he accounted for 50%, and the twins accounted for 25%. And after discussion, Everyone decided that the store would officially open during the summer vacation. What about your mother? Ryan suddenly thought of Mrs. Weasley. I can only say it's straight. I think if everyone persuades together, the mother should finally be able to answer our request. The twins said the same thing in unison. What s more? The Daily Prophet has been decorating the piece. My father said that at least half of the people in the Ministry of Magic don't think that everything that Fudge said is normal is true, because Azkaban never gave a breath. The criminals escape from prison, let alone those who escaped all fierce and wicked. In this case, our mother has not been so obsessed with the future when we went to the Ministry of Magic for the future. George added, Fuji was really crazy lately, because Dumbledore made some public comments that the wizarding world is now more dangerous, and hope everyone can be vigilant. He directed the Prophet Daily to slander Dumbledore's crazy. Reed also told the news he heard recently. So what do ordinary people think? Ryan asked. This week he was busy helping Hermione familiarize with the use of puppets in combat, so he did not pay attention to recent news. But he knew that in the original text, Fudge was relying on this ugliness, which made many people mistakenly think that Dumbledore was really confused because of his age. Most people think that Dumbledore is a little overwhelmed, but understandable. After all, this time, ten fierce criminals escaped from prison. At the same time, everyone also thinks that Fudge is completely for himself and wants to cover up the news that is not good for him. Fred explained. But Fudge was doing his own thing, and even withdrew those who had been sent to search the Black Wizard. So there were people who echoed Fudge. For example, my father said that Umbridge, the senior vice minister of the Ministry of Magic, sang for Fudge on various occasions. Praise, I really don't know if she is full of a Knitherum splendens or her character is despicable, and she disregards all morals to please her boss. George added, after discussing the latest news for a while, Ryan and the twins said goodbye and went to the library to read the books hidden in the secret library until they came out from lunch. He was sitting at the table in the auditorium and just preparing to eat, he saw Harry hurried over and handed him an envelope. Principal Dumbledore asked me to give you this thing. What is this? Ryan asked casually after receiving the letter. I don't know. Professor Dumbledore didn't tell me, just let me give you this letter. Harry's answer was also expected. Dumbledore has always been like this, doing many things is mysterious. Secret. After receiving the letter, Ryan decided to eat first. Harry also sat beside him and gorged. Right, what did you do in the Dumbledore's office? Lane asked Harry beside him. A terrible news. He told me that I should go back to Dursley's house for a while this summer. Harry looked a little frustrated. Did Sirius buy a house next to your aunt's house? Shouldn't it be as bad as it used to be? Ryan said, puzzled. Now the situation is completely different from the original one. After Sirius was freed, he bought a new house near Aunt Harry's house. I will live there with Harry during the summer vacation. The problem is here. I knew last year that I lived in my aunt's house every year because of my mother's protective magic. Fortunately, being accompanied by Sirius was not so difficult to accept. 
But this year Professor Dumbledore just told me serious I have something to do during the holidays, and I want to live alone in my aunt's house, which is awful. Harry said he poked his stake here. It's really bad. I will try to write to you as much as possible. Ryan patted Harry's shoulder to express his sympathy. Harry's aunt and uncle did raise him, but it was limited to that. It's normal for Harry to dislike them in this situation. After eating, Ryan left the table and walked towards the common room, and opened the envelope Dumbledore gave him. The letter was an invitation to him and Hermione, and they were invited to visit Sirius S. Old House at the end of the second week. Dumbledore also specifically stated that he would introduce some important people to them. There is also a small note attached to the letter, but it is stated above that it can only be opened and viewed when the invitation is confirmed. It looks like Dumbledore has an organization under his own leadership. In the common room, Hermione looked at the invitation letter thoughtfully. Indeed, I saw a photo album of Harry www.mtlenovel.com which contains a photo of his parents and a large group of wizards. When I told the twins about it later, Fred told me that the family also has an identical picture. Their father once said that Dumbledore had established the Phoenix Society to fight against the mysterious people. That photo was taken by the Phoenix Society, and there were two of their uncles who had never met. It's a pity that they were killed by mysterious people in the last war. The invitation represented Dumbledore's intention to recruit new people. Hermione reacted. According to Professor Dumbledore's character, it is likely that the Phoenix Society will be disbanded after the war. Now it is normal to choose new recruits after the war. After discussing for a while, the two decided to accept the invitation. Anyway, as ham wizards, they are destined to have a relationship with Voldemort. In this case, it is definitely better to stay with the organization for the time being than to fight alone. Besides, according to Dumbledore's character, under normal circumstances, they will not push these students to the front of the battle. Compared to Voldemort la Malfoy as a cannon fodder, Dumbledore is indeed a good leader. After confirming to accept the invitation, Ryan opened the note attached to the letter. Inside it was written with slender notes, 12 Grimald Place, London. This is as soon as they finished watching. The paper curled up and burned. Hermione was taken aback by this sudden situation. This house is protected with guts and loyalty. The confidential person is Professor Dumbledore. It seems that he has a high degree of trust in us. At least the place where Professor Dumbledore is the confidential person must not be optional. Location. Lane smiled at Hermione. Chapter 347. Xia Long was born. On the last day before the holiday, just after breakfast in the morning, Ryan felt that the dragon eggs placed in the Forbidden Forest last week were about to hatch, and he should prepare as soon as possible. So Ryan hurried to the direction of the Forbidden Forest. A few days ago, he was ready in the Forbidden Forest. Lane, wait for me. Hermione, who had just finished reading her final exam results, found that Ryan also followed when she ran out. A few days ago, when Ryan made arrangements for the dragons, Hermione also played there. Learn about runes in practice. So she knew that the dragon egg in Ryan's hand was going to hatch recently. Dragon is about to hatch. After drilling into the Forbidden Forest, the two quickly moved forward in the forest. Since the last reinforcement, Hermione has been able to keep up with Ryan's pace in the forest. Yeah, so we need to hurry, Ryan said, bypassing a tree, and after ten minutes, they came to an empty hillside deep in the forest. A huge stone altar was placed on the hillside. A complex magic circle was depicted on the altar. All the nicks were filled with gold and radiated with red light. On the five corners of the pentacle of the altar, five colored dragon eggs were placed there. Like the entire altar, the dragon eggs glowed red. The light and darkness are like breathing. There was already someone waiting on the hill. Aunt Betty stood there wearing a full set of sacrificial costumes, and was followed by a little horse girl who looked only eight or nine years old. Nice to meet you. Aunt Betty greeted enthusiastically and then said to the little horseman around her, Eve, say hello to them. These two humans are trusted friends. The pony turned out timidly from behind Betty, and then whispered, I my name is Eve, I am an apprentice of teacher Betty, and I am glad to see you. For us, Watching the birth process of powerful animals is beneficial for us to further understand nature. So today I brought my disciple, hoping that he can learn something from the birth of the dragon. Touched Aunt Betty explained after touching Eve's hair. I'm sorry I didn't notify you in advance. Nothing. Ryan shook his hand. You are here to help guard the altar is already very helpful, so you should take this opportunity to do something should also be. Please do not say anything sorry. After a while, the hatching began. Ryan waved his hands and made a few gestures and saw that the surrounding sunlight seemed to be attracted to the altar at once. Those red lights were lit by the condensed sunlight, and then the entire altar burned like a furnace. After the flames burned for five or six minutes, the dragon eggs began to tremble. Ryan immediately pulled out a bottle of dragon blood from his body, opened the lid and directed the dragon blood to be evenly spilled on the five dragon eggs. I feel that the defect on the dragon egg has been repaired, and I can proceed to the next step. Betty, who had been observing the altar with natural magic after the dragon blood was absorbed into the dragon egg, shouted. Hearing this shout, Ryan quickly sprinkled a large bottle of sunlight crystals on the altar. The flame on the altar flicked up the old high, and at the same time turned into a blue color. If there were runes around the altar that bound the flames there, 
The temperature alone would burn the surrounding combustibles. Boom. After a few minutes, the flame slowly collapsed, collapsed into the size of a baseball in the magic circle, and burst into five streamers into the five dragon eggs placed on the magic circle. This time the flame was completely extinguished. Ryan and they stepped forward to find a crack on the dragon egg. These cracks are constantly expanding, as if something is coming out. Click. The black dragon egg broke first. A black dragon was drilled out of the egg, and then four other dragons were drilled one after another. However, unlike most of the novel descriptions, these dragons did not eat their own eggshells, but ate a dish of minced meat on the side of Ryan and ate it. Charlie Weasley's tips really worked. After the dragon broke its shell, he needed to eat meat to replenish his strength. Fortunately, in the world of Song of Ice and Fire, Ryan planted a large number of trees with long meat. There is enough meat to feed these five dragons. The fruits and fruit of those trees are even better than real beef and mutton, and the output is also large. The only thing is to hope that these dragons can eat the plant meat that is used to the taste of lunch meat without any spices. After the dragons were full, Lion bit his nails and made a natural ally contract with them. After all this was done, Aunt Betty left with her apprentice, watching the back of the two horsemen disappearing in the woods. He finally has free time to release the rose crystal while checking these dragons from other worlds. Under the dual influence of the world's use of dragon blood to strengthen and the world will of the Harry Potter world, these dragons also acquired the same ancient magical powers as other dragons in this world. Let them not be easily hit by mechanical crossbows as in the original world of the Song of Ice and Fire. At least the giant dragon like this world that needs two rune electromagnetic cannons to hit the same place is definitely not a pure physical damage giant crossbow produced by the medieval productivity in the Song of Ice and Fire world. Hurt. They look so cute. Can I touch them? Hermione standing beside her said. Of course. Lane opened his body to reveal the dragon. Most of the animal cubs are very cute such as these dragons that are about the size of a chicken. Of course, when these guys grow older and become grim and thorny, few people will find them cute except for weirdos like Hagrid www.mtlnovel.com you give them is the name. Rose Crystal asked the little white dragon's head and asked, she was very interested in this behemoth that is not yet tall. Ah, uh, I'm going to call them green, white, black, red, and blue by color. Ryan certainly can't take the names of Urgeng, Rigo, Veselian from the original text, but as the name is invalid, he can only put a name according to the color of the dragon. Don't you think their color is the same as the Olympic rings? In the future, they can be called the ring team. As a result, these silly names gained the common contempt of Hermione and Rose Crystal. After two people whispered and discussed for a while, the two girls renamed them according to the color of the dragon. This green one is called Malachite. Rose Crystal jumped on the altar and started pointing at the little dragon. Perhaps because of the soul sharing with Ryan. These little dragons seemed very intimate towards Rose Crystal, rubbing her head from time to time against her. The white one is called Opal, the black one is Obsidian, and the red one Agate is very good, the last blue nature is called Celestite. The dolls pointed out the new names one by one. Okay, just say what you said. Ryan also felt that this was much better than the little red and little black he had thought before. After playing with the dragons for a while, Ryan opened the space store and sent them to the Wanji grocery store. Rose Crystal also said goodbye to the two and followed. After packing everything on the altar, Lane and Hermione left the hill and walked outside the Forbidden Forest. Chapter 348 End of school term. Ryan and Hermione left the Forbidden Forest and walked around the edge of the Forbidden Forest to the front of a grid hut. The sunshine outside the Forbidden Forest was very bright and made people feel more cheerful. As soon as they approached the door of a grid hut, Ye jumped out of the open door, screaming happily, shaking her tail. Who? Hagrid asked as he walked to the door. Ryan. He hurried over to meet them, squeezing Ryan hard with a thick arm, and said, It's nice to see you, friend. I'm really happy to see you. They walked into her grid hut and saw two sets of bucket-sized teacups and saucers placed on the wooden table in front of the stove. Drink a cup of tea with Olin, Hagrid said, she just left. It sounds like your relationship has progressed now. Ryan quipped, and Hagrid squeezed as soon as he heard the words, and a small piece of skin on his face that was not covered by his beard turned red. I really want to thank you for your suggestion here. She's really not easy for so many years. I almost caused her trouble. But now through exchanges, I find that we have a lot of common language between the two of us. Hagrid happy say, while taking out a few cups from the cupboard. He made tea, brought a plate of rock crust cake to Ryan and Hermione, then leaned back in his chair and looked at Ryan carefully with dark eyes. How does it feel to win the championship of the top three? I heard that you have invested most of your money in the Weasley twins business. I hope they can avoid being cleaned up by Molly for your sake. Do you know Mrs. Weasley? Hermione asked with some surprise. Of course, Hagrid nodded. You know, I have been a forest ranger at Hogwarts since I was young. When she first saw Molly, she was a first-year freshman named Pewit. At that time, she had such a strong personality. It's already reflected, after hearing Hagrid talk about those past stories, Ryan and Hermione only realized that although the half-giant in front of him looked like a middle-aged man, 
he was actually a generation of Voldemort, and he is also a man in his sixties today. Of course, the blood of the giant gave him a longer life, and he is still a middle-aged man physiologically. By the way, what does Mrs. Maxim want to do with you? It's not just a chat with you. Ryan took the opportunity to ask when Hagrid stopped after finishing part of the past. Give me some work this summer, Hagrid said. However, it's confidential. I can't say it, even if you know that you two have received an invitation from Dumbledore. Or I'm just what you said about Mrs. Maxim, maybe working with me. I think she will, I seem to have convinced her. Is this related to the mysterious man? Hermione asked curiously. Probably, he said vaguely. In short, I will definitely not say it and don't ask me again. It seems that Hagrid was still sent to contact the giant this year, but I hope he will have a little better luck this year. After chatting for a while, Ryan and Hermione and Hagrid said goodbye to the castle for lunch. That afternoon, when Ryan and Hermione walked into the auditorium, they found that at the departure banquet, the emblem of the winning college that decorated the auditorium was gone, replaced by the Hogwarts emblem and decorated with the emblems and colors of the four colleges. Dumbledore first announced the attribution of this year's College Cup. Gryffindor College won the Academy Cup because of Ryan's victory in the top three. Gryffindor students raised their glasses to celebrate. After watching everyone celebrate, Dumbledore knocked on his glass. Another year is over. Dumbledore looked at everyone and said, but at the same time, I must once again solemnly tell you one thing the Dark Age may be coming soon. After the previous thinking, Dumbledore still decided to temporarily hide the news of Voldemort's return but just told this fact to those who were willing to listen to him, and the vague darkness came as a publicity slogan for the public. Of course, this may also be because the resurrection of Voldemort caused serious problems, but no one was killed. So Dumbledore also felt that there was no need to take such an extreme plan as in the original book to announce this news to everyone. There was a whisper in the auditorium, but it quickly fell silent. This was not the first time Dumbledore announced this news, but because this was the first time they heard Dumbledore so solemnly announcing the news, everyone was underneath. Disgust. In view of various things recently, most people still believe what Dumbledore said. The Ministry of Magic doesn't want me to tell you this. Dumbledore continued. Some students' parents may be shocked by my approach either because they can't believe that more than ten years of peace has ended completely, or because they think I shouldn't tell you about it. After all, you are still young. However, I believe that it is always better to tell the truth than to lie. If we try to hide this news, we may be affected if we can't take precautions. Greater damage. At this time, every face in the hall was facing Dumbledore and shock was written on every face. Because the students here were all born and raised in a peaceful age, it was naturally difficult to accept the news of the possible outbreak of war. The purpose of the witchcraft competition is to enhance and promote mutual understanding in the magical world. Given what is happening now given that we are now in danger of war breaking out this connection is more important than ever. Dumbledore added said. Dumbledore looked at Miss Maxime and Hagrid, at Kakruff sitting in the teacher's seat, a little panicked, at Furong Dracula and her alumni of Booth Parton and at slate of Victor Crum and Deemstrong's classmates at the Lynn table. Crum seemed nervous and even scared, and seemed to think that Dumbledore would say something harsh www.mtlnovel.com Every guest in this auditorium, said Dumbledore, his gaze stuck in Deemstrong's classmates, as long as you are willing to come back, you will be welcomed at any time. Let me tell you all again given that this war is likely to be more than simply confined to Britain, its scale is likely to exceed everyone's expectations. We will only be strong if we are united, if we are divided we will be vulnerable. It is not possible to save yourself by hiding all around in war. We can only fight against it if we show the same unbreakable friendship and trust. As long as we have the same goal and open our minds, differences in habits and language will not be an obstacle. I believe I really hope I am wrong. I believe that we will all face dark and difficult times. But remember, as long as we keep hope in our hearts, we will eventually win the final victory. It seems that even if Professor Dumbledore decided to hide the news about Voldemort's resurrection in order to unite more people, he still used a very heavy tone to describe a darker future for everyone, hoping to arouse everyone's vigilance. Ryan knew that this was because Professor Dumbledore's sense of responsibility made him choose this statement after weighing for a long time to awaken everyone and unite most people. Such a statement can try to arouse the vigilance of all people under the premise of uniting the most people. However, the enmity caused by the Ministry of Magic is inevitable, but it should be much better than the opposition of the entire magic world in the original book. Think of Ryan a little sigh of relief here. As long as everything is better than in the past, it is enough. Chapter 349, Come Back Home. The end of the year end banquet represents the end of the school year, and it also means that you have to leave for a summer vacation. Kakaroff still chose to run away. As an expert who can survive a year under Voldemort's pursuit, Kakaroff has a very keen sense of smell when he is concerned about his own safety. Various changes have already made him restless, and Dumbledore's speech yesterday became the last straw. After making up his mind, he ran away overnight. However, 
His escape did not affect other people, at least most people did not even find this except that some careful people observed him disappear. Lane and fellow Hogwarts students waited for the carriage to take them to Hogsmead Station in the crowded hall. This is another beautiful and pleasant summer day. From the foyer, you can see the lush lawns and the vibrant forest in the distance. At the end of the field, Ryan could see Hagrid helping Mrs. Maxim to harness the two horses. Booth Barton's carriage was about to leave. After hearing Hager said that Mrs. Maxim escorted her students back to school, she would go with him to complete the task left by Dumbledore. I don't know how Dean Strand's classmates went back, Ron's voice heard from the side. You said, can they still drive that boat without Kakaroff? Kakaroff is not at the helm, said a horse, dull voice. He stayed in the cabin and he did all the work for us. Crumb came from behind at this time. Nice to meet you, he said to Ryan. Your strength has won my friendship. I hope we can keep in touch in the future. He and Ryan left each other's contact information. Have you found the new principal? Ryan asked casually after leaving the contact information. Crumb shrugged his shoulders. He reached out and shook hands with Harry, Hermione, and Ron. From Ron's expression, he seemed to be suffering some kind of painful inner conflict. Crumb was ready to walk away, Ron said suddenly, Can you sign me? Crumb looked surprised and relieved, signing Ron on a piece of parchment. On their way back to King's Cross Station. The weather was completely different from when they came to Hogwarts last September. The sky is cloudless. Ryan and Hermione avoided the others and sat in the last box at the end of the train. You'd better leave enough time this holiday, because that person is back, and war may break out at any time. In this case, we must increase our combat experience through actual combat and at the same time enhance our own strength as much as possible. Lynn unpacked the Bibbledo and took a pill. Damn it's the devil's pepper. Hermione was a little confused. Don't we have been doing these things before? Why do you need to focus on combat training now and emphasize it again? No, it's not the same. After a few sips of chilled pumpkin juice to suppress the spiciness in his mouth, Ryan explained seriously. It used to be training only, and this time I'm talking about actual combat. Practical combat, how can wait, isn't it? But don't you say that every trip is a nine-death life? If you take me one more time, won't it cause any harm to you? Hermione thought of what happened when I came over and asked. You told me that when you knew Bell, people will grow. Ryan said that the pits that were dug in the map at that time were now to be filled again. At least now if you take people to a safer world, you can be safe. That's good. Hermione nodded. As long as it doesn't affect your security, I don't have any opinions, as long as I can actually improve my own strength and help you in the war. Really thank you for trusting me, Ryan said after taking another bite of the pumpkin. But what I want to tell you is that the real battlefield is much crueler than you think, and I hope you can be mentally prepared. I will. I'm ready for the cruel truth, Hermione said solemnly, and suddenly thought of what she thought after eating a crucible cake. I think next year may be very confusing. The conflict between the Ministry of Magic and Dumbledore is now on the bright side. In this case, Harry, who is the natural choice of Professor Dumbledore, should be very difficult. Indeed, if Dumbledore chooses to be patient, Harry will definitely be more difficult. But Dumbledore's choice is not out of weakness. He hopes to retain more energy to deal with the man and the Death Eater, not to consume meaningless internal friction. Unfortunately. Fudge's eyes could only see the little benefit under his feet, and he would never move his brain to look a little further away. Ryan made a helpless expression. Hermione nodded, and she probably could understand why Ryan wanted to improve her strength so eagerly. In this case, they can only choose to protect themselves. Although Professor Dumbledore is still alive, the probability of being directly killed by Voldemort is very small, but no one dares to bet on this, because in the event of failure, giving energy is a lot of life. Hey! Why haven't you seen Rita Skeet so much recently? Ryan asked curiously after turning over the Prophet daily. Because I used to use that one of your investigative spells that day and found that there was someone around me, but I couldn't find her with my naked eyes. Finally, I found that the magic reaction was to catch the beetle from a beetle. After careful observation, I confirmed that it was Rita Skeet, and when I discovered this, I threatened her not to write anything this year and then let it go. She is an anima that can become a beetle. Gus. It's no wonder she knows so many others' privacy. Hermione said with raised eyebrows. You handled it very well, at least in this way there will be one less important attacker in the promotion of the Ministry of Magic. Suddenly the door of the compartment was opened and the twins walked in side by side. Ha, Ryan, you two are hiding here, King King. I, I'm quite happy, because we always find you from the front of the car to find you. Is there anything? Ryan asked looking at the twins, about the opening of the store. Fred said, risks the buttocks on both sides of the mother's beating are not the same high. It may be as high on both sides. www.mtlnovel.com I can't even put on my swollen pants. George grimaced in the back. In short, in any case, we will open the store within a week after the start of the holiday. Fred waved his fist in his left hand, expressing his determination. So, George stood side by side with his brother and said, Do you want a good store name? After all, you're a major shareholder. Pouting. Hermione next to her mouth smiled, and she remembered how Ryan named the little dragons. Okay, don't laugh. Ryan looked helpless, 
then looked at the twins. My naming level is a bit bad. Let's get started. The only requirement is not to put my name on the store name. Why is it? George wanted to say something, and Fredra gave him a look. I know that, as Professor Dumbledore hinted. The mysterious man is back. For security reasons, Ryan wouldn't let him write his name. Fred explained to George. It seems that Dumbledore's current approach is indeed better than that in the original novel. Those who can really listen and persuade can know the truth from it and those who are unwilling to accept these news can also find excuses for themselves and not so opposed to Dumbledore. In this case, the internal friction should be smaller. Ryan thought of Fred. Soon, the train returned to London. After saying goodbye to the twins, Ryan and Hermione pulled the box out of King's Cross Station. Today their parents are in trouble, so they can only take the subway home. Chapter 350, Unexpected News The hottest day since summer is finally coming to an end. Everything seems to be shrouded in a sleepy silence. In the Mull community, the cars that shine bright on weekdays are all parked in the driveway. The once green grass has become yellow. Due to the severe drought, the watering hose has been banned. Dot. But the lawn at Lane's house looked lush. As a master of plant transformation, self-proclaimed, it is a very simple thing to do some hands and feet on their own lawn to make them look more beautiful. Is very different from the beautiful environment outside, and it is messy everywhere. The people in the house are preparing for an important journey so a large number of bins are open to better pack things. Why is the family as chaotic as moving? The reason for this situation starts from the first day Ryan arrives at home. That day, after wearily dragging the box home, Ryan was surprised to find that his parents were not at home, so he could only open the door by himself. As a result, he didn't see his parents' faces full of tiredness but with a relaxed expression walking into the house until evening. Oh my god, we actually forgot that today is the day when my son came back. These two days are really busy and dizzy. Mother Sally watched a table prepared in the restaurant and slammed her forehead in shock. It's okay, I can take care of myself by myself, Ryan said after putting the last dish on the dining table. Oh, why are you back so late? Is there anything? A more important thing. Mr. Lambert wiped the sweat from his face after hanging his suit on the hanger. Let's talk after dinner, because this matter is very important. We need to talk more formally. What? Do you plan to go to Dankow in recent years? After dinner. Everyone sat in the living room and started chatting. As a result, Mr. Lambert's first words shocked Ryan. Although after Lord Voldemort's return he did hope that his parents could go to a safe place, Lane did not expect him to find a suitable plan. His parents would take the initiative to leave. Yes, and it's not just us. The Grangers nearby are also the same. Today we went to the embassy to get a visa together. At this time, Mr. Lambert broke another heavy news. What is going on? Although things are indeed going well, Ryan still wants to figure out what happened. Fortunately, Mr. Lambert clearly explained the reason behind. Things need to start with serious summer vacation from the escape of Azkaban. During that summer, Ryan and his family dug up a treasure, and later exchanged with the French for more than two million pounds. More than one million cash. With that money, Ryan's parents started their global trip as soon as the holiday was over. Naturally, the final project of this trip is to go to Tanko for a fun round, and then visit Ryan to return to Tanko's grandparents. As a result, in the heavens, Mr. Lambert received unprecedented hospitality in the town where Ryan's grandparents raised their ill people. The town is near Linen, but it's a pity that there are mountains all around, and it's a bit far from the city. Although the road is well repaired, it is not very good that everyone has lived because there are no local special products. Mr. Lambert found a very good business opportunity there, and she chose to invest there with a sum of money in her hand. Although one million pounds may not be a big deal in a big city, the money in 1993 was an astronomical figure in a small town in the south. With the help of all parties, the investment soon paid off. Daddy, what did you vote for? Ryan was a little curious, and he remembered that foreign investment was welcome everywhere in that era. It is normal for my father to be warmly entertained, not to mention as a descendant of small famous writers and locals. Nursery and Chinese herbal medicine planting base. Mr. Lambert no longer sells Guanzi. It's a fast-growing place. There are many things in great demand but there are not enough suppliers. After investigation, we found that the mountain in our hometown is quite suitable for growing these things so I invested those things. No wonder my father wrote several letters in the third grain asking if the wizard had any secrets for planting trees and hubs. Ryan had mastered Dave's planting skills at the time, so he thought of many good ways to mail it to his father. It's also thanks to you. Mother Sally said, plants planted according to your method have fewer disease, better management and better growth than others. Relying on these obvious plants, these two years we made a lot of money. Because of this, we intend to temporarily move to Dankow to take care of the business nearby. After all, our business is now in a period of rapid development. If people are not on the side, there will always be various kinds of trouble. And you also grew up, I believe you can take care of yourself. Besides, you can also come to Tanzau to see us during the holidays. Finally, Mother Sally touched Ryan's head. Father, isn't your recent Edwardian adventure series very popular? Don't you stop writing in the future? After reading this series of books, 
Ryan feels like Indiana Jones and the National Treasure series novels. In the letter, my father has been showing off himself. How popular this set of books is. You can write even if you go to Tankow. Changing the environment is more conducive to writing. Then the book will be sent to the publishing house. Lambert said easily. So, what's the matter with Hermione's family? After knowing the reason for his family's move, Ryan asked the next question. Also because of investment, I told Mr. Granger when I was drinking in the bar after returning from Tankow and told him that Tankow is very suitable for investment. As a result, he and his wife spent a month or two doing investigations. You reading www.uukanzu.com finally went to Tankow for two weeks for inspection. Mr. Lambert said, then what? Then, after returning, he bought several patents and licenses from his alma mater and classmates and friends, and then opened a production plant for dental consumables and instruments in Linen City and also opened a dental clinic. You know that dentistry generally belongs to the subordinate departments of the hospital, and there are very few professional dental clinics. They moved there this time and developed rapidly there, so they have to command the nearest to avoid any problems. Professional managers are indeed useful, but at this stage many things are not handled by them. Well, I know. Ryan thought that money can indeed change fate, especially a lot of money. But that's fine, once you fight, you don't have to worry about the safety of your home. Early the next morning, Ryan and his family called a taxi to Heathrow Airport in London, carrying big and small bags. In the waiting hall they met the Grangers, it seems they should take the same flight. Okay, I heard that you will go to live with your classmates next week, which is very good. But you must take care of yourself when you are at home this week. Remember to lock the door and close the water, electricity and gas when you leave the house. Two parents started after some nagging arrangements, Ryan and Hermione stood the listening carefully. Okay. That's it, we're about to board the plane. You have to help each other with anything, I believe you can take care of yourself. After a few people said, they took the luggage and left. Ryan and Hermione watched as their parents walked far away from sight before leaving the airport and taking the bus back to their neighborhood.